Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to checking in on the Wednesdays. Uh, we Wednesdays. Have whole- <laughs> Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Audience retention goes down by sixty percent in the first thirty seconds, and now I know why. Because <laughs> you start. Because you Cause started. Yeah, exactly. started. Need- Maybe I should be the opener. Yeah. I think you should. You want to retry it? Let's yeah, start let's it right try, now. Let's pretend like this. In a, all right, all right. Uh, we're going right, to go live ready? in three, go. two, one. And here we are, guys, checking in with the bar checks. Whoa! Best oh, night of your week. We're the bar checks. Do you want to try? Oh, yeah, I'll try. Okay, it. three, two, one. Go fuck yourself! Oh, oh I'm sorry. That's, yeah. a, that's a Noah bit right, right. there. So sorry. now we we're have demonetized no, in the yeah, first we have, We're demonetized and have I'm no sorry. listeners. Oh. Wow, that's 60% without the 30%. It's my, it's my Tourette's. <laughs> yeah, Tourette's I, yeah. I literally didn't even want to say that. No. I wanted to say. What do you want to say? You want to reach high? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Welcome to Jackie Gear Podcast. Oh, my God. name's Ryan Bartrack and fucking <laughs> wow. Did I do good? Did, was there an F word in there too? No. no. Oh, okay. That I was purely that. clean. I, I couldn't. I couldn't tell. It. <laughs> I almost didn't even know it was you. Noah. I didn't know it was you. I thought it was me. I was like, was Bar- is that me talking right now? I saw that picture that somebody gave you. It was like a painting. It's really good. Was that a me in like seventy years? Yeah, that you. was the Vincent a, Price. Yeah, Vincent yeah, it Price. Had the curly I mean, mustache, yeah. just like me. Well, I really like you're, it. You're I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So, for you guys don't know, can you pull up Vincent Price really yeah. quick? Vincent Price is like a uh, just OG horror movie guy. I mean, like really? back in the day, there was like Bella Lugosi, it is Vincent crazy Price. If there's there was people like who maybe don't know who there was he like is, five yeah. people in like. Every scary movie Vincent wow. Price was in. Yeah. Dude, look at that stash. <laughs> I mean, that's not, that's a baller that's stash. A baller. Like yeah. you got that, and he got the ladies. Obviously, yeah, he got. But it got better. I mean, there was better stashes that he's had. Really? Man. See, I love there a good go. look mustache. At look at this. Man. Look at this. Yeah. That? And you know, mom, you know this. <laughs> I've been infatuated with the mustache ever since I was young. I had books yeah. before I could even grow a mustache yeah, true, yeah. on how to groom it, like eat raw onions, they would say. And I would just be in the corner of my bedroom uh, alone, just eating onions. Uh, <sighs> my mom would walk like, in. And it was like rub something on your lips yeah. to encourage that. Yeah. I would just be, <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. walk in, you'd be like, no, yeah, what are you doing? My girl? <sighs> you know what I mean? Remember yeah, that? trying to grow a stash. Yeah. Leave me alone, mom. I look at me. Yeah, but no, it is. It, that's how you are going to look works. 70 years from now. So yeah. some I friends of ours so. sent us some really cool... Uh, artist renderings of, yeah. of like the old horror guys, you know, and I loved it. Oh, there was, I mean, there more was more. Than oh yeah. There was oh, like yeah. five or six or something like That's... that. So I'm going to definitely frame them and hang them cause they are absolutely incredible. So I'm a huge horror film guy and that's like the OG stuff. What's I your mean, favorite horror slash scary question. movie? Well, I think, I, I think right now the conjuring universe is the best. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Which one in your, best. which one inside of the conjuring though? I mean, I still, I still like either the, the, the actual conjuring one or two, mm-hmm. you know, I haven't yeah. seen uh, a Annabelle uh, creation. I haven't seen that one. And I've that seen, one's supposed to be really good. That is really good. And I, I don't think I've seen Slender Man. I don't think I've seen I haven't, that one. Wait, that's a... Didn't we see I that? didn't see that one either. No, I don't think Slender we saw Man? it. Slender Man? I think there's a Slender Man, isn't there, Jake? I'm I didn't know sure. that that was part of Conjuring. Let's I didn't see. either. Oh, it's definitely part of Conjuring. It is? Yeah. The, let's look that up. Slender, I, I, Slender Man movie. When did that come out? I, don't, I thought there was a movie about it. I Maybe I'm wrong. I remember there being yeah, a Slender Man movie. Yeah, 2018. Yeah, 2018. Are you sure we didn't see this? Because I feel like I am we did. Positive. And I would only watch it. it with you. Yeah. This isn't the shit. I don't remember watching. Yeah, 2018. It yeah, says. 2018. It came out, and that's a, that's part of the Conjuring. I, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Why yeah. did we not watch that? I don't know. Especially it's because you hate horror movies. No, I know, but you also <laughs> make me watch them all. I know, the time. but every time I want to watch it, you're like, and you know. I remember being. I mean, you don't say just. That's not what I say. I'm like, well, okay fine and then you go home, you? Go upstairs and go to bed it depends well, how bad it gets if it gets bad then i yes I and i'm with my mom on <laughs> speaking of bad Jesus speaking of Christ. bad monday night Lori was out of town and, yeah. and for the God. second day we tried to watch a space movie <laughs> and uh and i so there's as a matter of fact i brought it up with my trainer today at the gym uh our trainer and um I told him about Cosmic Sin with Bruce Willis. Horrible. And I said, terrible. Legitimately horrible. So he pulled it up and looked at the reviews, and it was like, this may have been the worst sci fi movie I've ever seen. Ever. Wow. This is ever. I, I told Jade you were watching it. She goes, why? He just keeps making the same terrible movie over I and know. over again. I tried again. to tell Dad, but <laughs> Mom, he's made I, some good ones. I though. tried to tell Dad. I was, I was like, before this starts, I already know it's going to be bad. <laughs> Plus play, press play. Please, press play. It's going to be terrible. Well, I told him I'm glad that you watched it without me because I felt the same way, and that's why I kept saying no so the past bad. few days. Cause it was yeah. so, so bad. I did not have to be subjective. Yeah. They kept like popping up in places 
They wouldn't oh, explain. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It was like literally like all of a sudden they're on a different planet, but you have no idea how they got there. No <laughs> idea nice, there was or a different nice. timeline, you know? It was like, like, it was like there's cut no need fifth, for but, continuity. No, I it was like they cut 15 minutes out in between each segment. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, yeah. With that no would, explanation. No explanation. <laughs> you know what the worst part was, though? So it was, it was supposed to be set in like so 2600. You, you know, like it? 600 years from now it's supposed to be set in. This is the thing that's like flying cars. But also gasoline cars. No, no, not yeah. not electric cars. Gasoline cars because it was like, blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah. And motorcycles, by the way, choppers from like the 1990s. Yeah. So like in 20, you know, like you know, what I mean, in like oh, and condition. then this, they had the laser guns. Laser. But then they had the shotguns with, you know, what I mean, like well, it's just no continuity. Well, right? well, I can tell you what, you're probably I always going to have that because at right. some point, like people are always going to hold on to like the not old guns. Six hundred years. In I mean, do people have 600-year-old weapons that no. they're using in battle right now? I feel, I don't know. Does my no. dad? No, come on. Like no. a stone? He um, like a stone. <laughs> he made his own axe. Oh. 600 years ago yeah. is literally bef- like samurai. That's like shit. samurai. Yeah, samurai stuff. Okay. I guess there, there would be samurai, samurai swords. swords? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess but you wouldn't use them in battle, you though. No, you wouldn't use them in battle. Out. Yeah, like no. we're not going to war in the Middle East with samurai swords. Yeah. Well, you and I, I mean, aren't, but I'm sure Kaklakomek is. Yeah. is. <laughs> there might who, be a few people. Who again? Kaklakomek. Oh my God. Kakla Kalmak. Can you not say that? Uh, I've never no, I turned down a good samurai sword as a weapon. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah. I, true. I, you know, my first ever YouTube video, I never posted it because it was so bad. Right? I know. <laughs> I made it with three of my friends. It oh, was a uh, fruit ninja in real life. Oh, and that, oh, you, someone always cuts a finger <laughs> off when that we happens. We didn't, and, and we were under the influence of substances, uh, and we were chucking fruits at each other oh and God. cutting with samurai Remember, swords. Uh, uh, who was the the Just guy saying. that uh, the YouTuber <laughs> that uh, got like outed for faking like you know getting drug off the bed and stuff like that? Lance, Lance, yeah, twenty ten, yeah, two ten, two ten, yeah, exactly. And uh, but he blew up because he did the samurai swords like this on the fruit yeah, and cut, and his, cut finger his finger almost off. off. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and that was like what broke his video out. Isn't that weird? How a, a, a creator can blow up because of almost cutting their finger off? Oh, hundred percent. That makes sense. That's, why was, do you people get on the news? It was dangling. Shit. Yeah. It was dangling yeah. off. Yeah. It was cool. Well, David Dobrik really blew up, blew up. Who? Yeah, when he blew himself show. up? No, when he <laughs> caught the the wine bottle from Jason Nash and, and severed all his tendons in his hand. Yeah, that was... Before that, he was popular, course. but he, why, like, blew up. Why do you up. not understand this? So we, we just need to hurt just ourselves really this bad. Yeah, conversation duh. about, like, impractical you jokers know, yeah. and all this. Like, it's that kind of shit that people love to watch. You know we need to blow up again? Hurt, I was thinking about this. What's that? If we really want our YouTube channel, we just need to get a bunch of fish for Bowser's Pond. <laughs> the mass, Utica Massacre. <laughs> okay. We need to, we need to get elaborate. Because that's what, last time when our channel was slowing down, yeah. we put fish in Bowser's Pond and he ate them all. Yeah. And the video got like a million and a half views and our channel was booming again. I mean, so he probably then, you would just need really to, appreciate you it. You just need to sacrifice did. some fish every we now We got and then. the one. We've I got wonder. the lone guy. Oh, Jonah? Guy. Does he have a name? <laughs> yeah, Jonah. Jonah. That's Jonah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know that's Jonah? No. Yeah, he's ma- he's been oh, thriving and surviving. I wonder oh, yeah. what Jonah's this great. means in our human subconscious. All of your videos, and even probably mine, I just haven't really analyzed it, that are negative or involve some sort of pain, suffering, just something on the opposite they side the of best. goodness. They do the best. And they do the best yeah. Exactly, they do the best. And it's really it's confusing, Do you not sad. listen to me? Well, that no. I just said, that's what people thrive on. Yeah. Oh my God. You weren't listening to me, obviously, because I said, I wonder why. Yeah. I wonder why. Because yeah, what's that's, in the psyche? that's, it is. It's, it's the human's innate, uh, just you know, desire but it's funny to, cause, cause, to see other people being uncomfortable or in yeah. pain. But it's funny because like weird. Mr. Beast talked about this. Okay. What did he when, say? When, and he, he said that, um, I saw this on a podcast where he said, um, that, he wanted to go the opposite way. He said yeah. that you're right. Negative comments. I agree. Or I mean, negative uh, titles and, and negative thumbnails typically are the highest viewed on YouTube. But he wanted to go the other way and go positive on everything. And yeah, he wanted so to prove that you. if you were positive, so, you were just as good. So he's giving good. millions away. Right. And that's what's getting his But it doesn't then, work for most positive. people. You know, no. like, like Noah could give a million dollars away. And and it wouldn't. I'll get wouldn't, a yeah, thousand wouldn't, views. Yeah, you wouldn't still. get yeah. hardly anything. It's just, you know, he's got a very unique, you know opportunity yeah. it's kind of like the kardashians or, yeah, or david similar. or david dobrik or or whomever even logan paul and jake paul it's like they got famous for being famous and mr beast got famous 
for giving money away, which get, makes him famous yeah. if he continues to give so money away. So if you away, want you know? to like have a good video, I'd say like sacrifice a digit. Yeah, I think if you can, um, if, yeah, if one, you, know. you don't even have to do the whole finger. Just Maybe like the top the knuckle. Yeah. I like a, I, the tip's my favorite part. Yeah, I, but I think if you like <laughs> the thing, seriously, if you really want to blow up, I think the thing is take take that one cigarette chopper and just take the pinky finger off. I can't. I already have a community guideline strike. Oh, really? So if I, if I have one more, like my channel's gone. No, it's two. You need two. Okay, yeah. You need three. You need three. Yeah. So if you I only have two one, more, I'm two more. So you got yeah. one to really. But it's only six months. How long channel? have you got? It's <laughs> not only gotta... six months. It's forever. No. My, no. Yeah. Yes. I just read it. It really? says forever. Oh, they changed that because it used to only be six months. Yeah, because I got the strike in like 2017. Oh my gosh. No, yeah. it was when I was here still, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was like 2018 or something. Yeah, it was the first year I was here. Wow, that's crazy. You want to hit a couple of supers? Yeah, let's yeah, hit a couple sucks. super chats. You guys are uh, just starting. Already. Yeah. Fucking so, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions for us, hit us up in the supers. We're happy to answer. Silver Cash said, glad to be off and catch uh, the podcast right. today. Good, Been good a busy day. day scrubbing tubs and change out 1,000 rats with no bites. Oh, oh well. good Ooh. job, man. Good oh. job. That's Silver awesome. Cash. I can truthfully say one of the worst bites, top three easily, is from a rat. Of rats course. are tough. Oh, yeah. so yeah. bad, dude. dude. Holy. I, I love rats, though, to be honest with you. Of I think they're super, super cool. But when they do bite, oh, it hurts. they bite it's like hard. Pinching it in hurts. a vice grip. Yeah. It hurts. But, uh, uh, but they typically don't bite because they're actually really intelligent and great pets. I would rather have a pet rat than a hamster any day of the week. Okay. I yeah. can see that. Yeah. They're much it smarter. It just depends. When Way we were doing, smarter. When we did a lot of rodents, it was not uncommon to get bit. No, um, but you, know, you got to remember, they're afraid. They're, you know. No, you know, I know. But you know. he. it sounds like he's probably doing a pretty good number of yeah. them. It's a, and then yeah. your odds are pretty yeah. high of getting bit. You know what you made me think of? I wonder if there's any homeless people out there, right? They Real, have pet rats? Exactly. They yeah. have like pet rats in their they jacket. Got to. Probably. Got to. to be and honest, it's no little different. pieces of cheese. Yeah, it's no yeah. different than the pigeon people who yeah, feed the pigeons. Squirrels, yeah. Like honestly, yeah. it doesn't take much. Like if you yeah. just start like, you know, feeding them a little yeah. bit, yeah. they'll come around, they'll like you and they'll be nice to you and they'll yeah. be your friends. I mean, rats so are cool. cool. I'm, yeah, it would yeah. be cool to have a homeless person on the corner. Yeah, with a little rat of two Yeah. Yeah, if you held up a sign saying like need food for my pet rat, I think it, I think people. I mean, honestly, I, I would give that person money. Right, like yeah. I would. I don't give people that they, that money. Little rat but circus show yeah, or something. Going that, on. Yeah. I'd be like, you know what? Here, <laughs> for your rat. There you go for your rats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Danky Johnny says, "Would you get a blue tree monitor?" Love from Austin. You know they're really cool, but yeah. they hide all the time. Do they? They're out of all of the tree monitors. The what they're called Mercuri are the most secretive. What was so? What did we just get? We got we got Gastrofolus persina, which is obviously, uh, cre yeah, oh, cre obviously, <laughs> Sorry. is there not <laughs> right? <laughs> is there a normal name? It's yeah, not it's as not, it's worse. It's actually almost like, worse. It's what green belly keeled lizard? Lizard green okay. belly keeled lizard. So that okay, oh, I see, see what happens. See what happened, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Gastrofolus persina comes off like no problem. Yeah, it rolls yeah. off the tongue. Uh, rolls off the tongue. Okay. Can we call I them? I thought those were a tree gastros. Monitor. I didn't know. Yeah, they're not a tree monitor. Okay. They're a tree lizard. Gastros is nice, but I was gonna say something like. Teal baby. Just, teal baby. I don't know. <laughs> Did we name I'm those? Because I feel like that one needs to be, be one teal of baby. Teal baby. But they are really cool. Have you seen them, Lori? I mean, how yes. they, they like just hang out. They're really yeah, like. Yeah, really tame. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're not tame. They're, they're, they're really yeah, you tame. Should, you should handle them, Lori. And uh, when you hold them. Great idea. They're good. They just, they're they just super sit there. Chill. Listen, you lying there. shit. You came to me bloody lie. fingered saying, oh my God, those These two ones got me. These proceeders. The gastrophobus. I'm gastrified. There you go. Yeah. But I just like the fact that they don't hide. They like just stay right out in the open. Well, yeah. obviously they're not afraid. <laughs> They'll just bite like, the yeah, shit open out of that anything. Cage. Yeah. I dare you. I dare you to open that so cage. So they're not once we interact with the other reptilians. Nah. Well, yet. we could, but yeah. <laughs> That's what Chicken Strip's been doing. Because I hang out with Argamas a lot. Mm -hmm. And Chicken oh, Strip, he up. always comes up to the glass. And he just looks at me. And he's like, come on. Yeah, me next. Yeah, me yeah, next. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I've never done it. I've only tried okay. one time with Jay and uh, Mikey behind me right i was yeah. just like all right i'm gonna try to tong feed him and they were like this isn't a good idea <laughs> and i was just like but you can't ever get progress if you don't try right so yeah. i grab the tongs out and right when i stick the tongs in there 
he road runnered it yeah. <laughs> right out of the cage, cage. Yeah. right? Good analogy, and I'm like, yeah. shit! So I have him, and he, he's biting me. Oh, yeah, and right. I wasn't recording. He's scratching me up. He's oh, biting yeah, me. Yeah. I'm like, ah! Oh! I put him back in the cage. Yeah. I'm like, yep, you're right. He doesn't tongue feed. We're done. He's crazy. He, he's definitely a scary animal. And that's the problem. Because he doesn't tongue feed, it's almost impossible to calm him. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Because if you tongue feed him, you can actually teach him to stop. Yeah, being build crazy. trust and you're but feeding like him. He, he's always you're just not working on ball, ball training. You can't. You can't even get <laughs> him to fly it out. Yeah. So bonk him with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. At least, at least once a day when I'm walking by, he launches at the glass. Yeah. Lunges. Like dude. literally, like launches, like off his ledge. Like woo! I have that one video. Yeah, it's, it's so like, good. Woo. Do you so think good. it's because he's albino and his eyesight is not good? I, I think he sees I really so. well because I do too. He, he'll yeah. look I do at too. you from okay. across the way. I mean, uh, yeah. like you're over by Elvis and he's eyeballing you. Because yeah, a lot so, of people yeah. say that. Yeah, you know, yeah that a lot that of people say why. that. And I know the other albino Nile that was around for a long time was blind. Right. Uh, but this one, he absolutely can say well. Okay. There's no doubt about it. I agree. It's crazy. I agree. Did you hear Saul? bit my shirt the other day oh my god almost like bad almost too. got my belly like yeah like mom what are you like doing? Almost she, bad i was going in to get pepper because these guys wanted to bring pepper out and so i got pepper out and as i was reaching in saul came up i didn't see her and she grabbed my shirt and, and hung on and like it. like pulling me trying to pull me in yeah it was awesome it was awesome yeah it was really cool i have no comments <laughs> was, i'm not gonna, yeah. it was cool but i have scary. a lot of comments i'm just not gonna say that she's getting riley and you yes. wonder why it, we told you to do it, not Jay and I. Yeah, well, you guys are <laughs> professionals. You no, know, I tried grabbing Pepper because <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Steph wanted a picture, right? Uh huh. And I tried grabbing her, and I, and oh, I it's, got it's, her. It's crazy. She is so strong. strong. A little. You think a, a a three foot long alligator? Think about a ten footer. You know. So, so this strong. is this is the thing, and it's now or never because it's only going to get worse. What? Is I saw Savannah with her little picture with salt and pepper, uh -huh. and I thought, oh, oh, yeah, I need a picture like that. Oh, you should. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh we should totally Let's do, do that. that. Yeah. If we yeah. could get the same picture, <laughs> oh, because because you know Max Strong did one like that too, right? No. Uh -uh. Yeah. So I just so, saw her. So, so Savannah and I was, was like, cool. and I I even messaged her on that, you know, and uh, I was like. Should probably try to get that. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> you should know because you we figure, do it. you know, she got them when they were small. Yeah, exactly. And then Max that's what she Strong had, had a, about a mid size, yeah. and then now she's got them in the big, the same pose. <laughs> and Max did the exact same pose and everything. And uh, yeah. but yeah, we Savannah's should do that. turned out good. So they really did. You should do one. You should do it. I think try. why not? It's a good piece know? for the But video. is she gonna have oh, to yeah. <laughs> grab them out? No, no, I'll grab them. No, because it would not happen. If that's the thing that's nice is like salt will like you can put salt on the ground and she'll chill. Pepper, you put on the ground like we found out, and she's she like, goes. it was fun. She's, it was she does so the much clap. Fun. She does it, kunk, kunk, kunk. I mean, like, <laughs> like she almost got me a bunch of times. A bunch, a bunch of times. Yeah. Like, yeah. at least 12. Yeah, she almost got me. She'd, like, fly back at me, kunk. She would do yeah. it. She was biting, like, a, a Gabby. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. behind. Yeah. She was, like, going, like, whoosh. Yeah, she was going crazy. Yeah, she was going nuts. But, yeah. Anyways. Be uh, Becky Galan threw $5 for love. Appreciate you, Becky. Thank you, Becky. Hey, Becky. And uh, Cody, chance. Cody Nicholas says, uh, "Good evening, everyone. Hope you all had a great day. Pa Good the evening. past couple Good of vlogs evening. have been amazing. The shot of baby Kush eating the egg was awesome. Oh, I'm so glad that you like them. You know, we're yeah, trying yeah. to switch some things up. There's another comment to, about that too. Yeah, we're trying to switch things up and uh, make it a little bit faster pace, a little bit more. You know, time with everybody. Yeah, fun. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the crew's involved a lot. You know, and everything. We're just trying to, you know, always uh, evolve." evolve evolving so hopefully you guys will like it simple man says hope everyone's doing well the segments on the vlog where you and jay the edutainer go ask lori questions is hilarious the sloth <laughs> and the hundred dollars had jay looking scared <laughs> 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 now what was that one about the sloth and the hundred bucks i don't think i was there for that what happened that was when when so, um, uh, Jay had somebody hold Drogo. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, okay. Drogo so yeah. So the Drogo uh, experience I was, yeah. was an un, yeah. un, unapproved Drogo experience. It was well. It was a. It was approved by me. It was unapproved yeah. by you. Yeah. And and it was everything gets approved by you. Yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem. It's okay. I just want to well, make people not, happy. It worked out well. Yeah. What did I tell you? How about you try making me happy? I know. Could you I just put yeah. even a little bit of more effort into making me happy and less yeah. others? You got That's that fucking wine rack right there. What else do you <laughs> want? Happiness. I bought it. Yeah. I did that. I, Why aren't you happy? You have nothing to do with that. You put it together. Yeah. And look, you got a wine cooler over there. That's not mine. Yeah, but it's for wine. No, yeah, it's, it's not. It's literally. It's, it's literally full of wine. your beer. 
I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta There's use it. Yeah, exactly. So I can empty. Do with me, and I don't know some pieces of wood. I don't it's, even know what that's the hell. It's Johnny Quest oh. chocolate bars. <laughs> it's Johnny bar. chocolate. There, Come might, on. there might be a silver like, dollar in there. Wood? <laughs> why is there wood in the fridge? Yeah. In the you gotta wood. keep it cold for the yeah. fire. There might be a silver <laughs> ticket in one of those. It better be a gold, yeah. golden dollar. Gold, it's a gold, gold silver shogger. ticket. If you get silver the silver ticket, you get to go on the treasure trust. Treasure trust. Whatever. The fuck I like it's quest. <laughs> yeah, quest. Treasure Trust. Treasure, treasure Trust. Treasure Trust. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next uh, super. Silver <laughs> Cat says, uh, "Will fem- females still copulate slash lock up after ovulation?" I'm yeah. on day 48. Had four locks and she shed. I don't know if she should keep pairing or sorry, I should keep pairing or not. Still so eating. So I always say, it's still eating 100 percent pair. Okay, yeah. because a female that ovulates and is is gravid will not eat. So 100 percent pair. You can never over pair, right? So I always. <laughs> that sounds you're like, fine keep yeah. going so so uh <laughs> you can never overpair um so always err on the side of over do it you know trying to breed them most of the time once a female ovulates a, a male will not breed her most mostly every now and then they will but most of the time they will not breed her so my thoughts to you is is number one if she's feeding she's not ovulated uh that shed could be a pre-ovulation shed uh, but definitely put the females together, males and females together. Again, feeding uh, females. Well, t- you're, actually, that's probably not pre-ovulation shed even because females will typically go off of food at about 20 to 22 millimeters. They won't ovulate till about 40 to 45 millimeters. So uh, you're probably still under 22 millimeters. So you, you've got a ways to Keep go. Keep going. Yeah, you've, Keep got going. A, you've got a ways to go. Coles. Ovulate. Cole says, uh, hey, Brian, I breed Kenyan Samboas, mm-hmm. and it's a huge passion. I was wondering if you could show them more. Yeah. I would love to see them get more exposure because they yeah. are so wonderful with awesome morphs. I, you know, listen, <laughs> I agree with you a thousand percent. You know, I I, I, I really marvel at, at the Kenyan Samboa stuff out there. You know, I mean, I think it's really beautiful. And, you know why and, I was laughing? Why is that? Because <laughs> the guy's like, I breed Kenyan Samboas. If you could shout them out and up yeah, the maybe, price yeah. a little bit, <laughs> yeah, it would just, make my world so much better. It is true. That's Mr. Brian. What, that is what happens, too. Exactly. You know, we, we always like make things blow up, and then everyone else makes tons of money on it, and then they say what an asshole I am. Yeah, yeah stupid so, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I make people, you know, all those Mexican black king people, they didn't. Oh, man. I mean, I made a lot of people a lot of money on Mexican black kings and blue tongue yeah. skinks and, and, and hog nose and you name it, you know. But, uh, ball but pythons. Then, you know, ball, ball pythons. Ball pythons. Ball pythons. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but I do really like Kenyan Samboas and, oh, yeah, and cool. we, we're so far behind the game at one time we were really cutting edge with Kenyan Samboas we had like all the cool the coolest stuff and then we just got left in the dust you know I, but. they were so cool they were a lot of fun as a kid yeah oh my gosh. because yes. you would just like you you would know there's a snake in the tub <laughs> But, but it's very it. so you have to feel I, for exactly. it. Exactly, I catch it's him as a little you. kid. Yeah, he'd be fun. like four years old, and he was in the Kenyan rack, and so I'm just fun. like, ah, and he's just like, shh, <laughs> you know? and I'm like, I can't even believe you're not getting bit right now. <laughs> I got the touch. Yeah. yeah, it's like little, like the movie Tremors. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, they're just hiding down there. That would be cool to make a little tremor set with mm-hmm. some Kenyan sambo. Actually, would be cool. And have pinky mice people. Is that too far? Too far? No. Uh, I don't think as so. As long as they're not alive. Well, didn't let me finish my thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JMR Zoological says, at Brian Barcheck at Jay Tomsky, come through to San Antonio, Texas, bro. See the elephants. We'll do. Oh, yeah, this is our buddy. Uh, uh, He's uh, got elephants? He works, at a, he works at an elephant place. Well, that's oh, real nice because maybe you know I Giovanni, see some right? Elephants. It Obviously, sounds right. He, 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 when we went to the cool. Dells, was he with us at the Dells or no? No, I don't know. Oh, no. okay. No. So this was the previous time we went to the Dells. Uh, great kid. He, he's uh, not a kid. He's an adult, but uh, mm-hmm. um, he uh, he's from Chicago. You know him. We, he, he's from well, Tinley Park. Obviously, he doesn't know me. I wasn't invited. But didn't even get tagged. Uh, the Giovanni makes the gelato. G- yeah, at Ninos Gaudazios. Yeah, Ninos He makes the fucking gelato. He was like, he took like a picture with me at Tinley when he was like 12, 15, 18. Oh, I remember you know? seeing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and uh, he's cool. just a good guy. That was everybody, picture. Brian. But, but he's now works with <laughs> elephants. And I saw him with tigers the other day on Instagram and really? uh, I'm excited a bunch of different for you. stuff. And all the cool experiences you'll get to get. You act like you're you not part of the family. I wasn't sure invited. He, oh, you he, think he, he didn't he like invite you? you? No, he didn't. <laughs> he would he invite you. He said at Brian at J. That's it. You weren't sure, even I invited. Even, fuck no. you. So Giovanni. listen. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so Noah, you're that's my it's name. Exciting day today. It's an exciting day. I got a stand-up show after this. I got to leave a little early, probably. Actually, yep. yep you're going to leave go about six o'clock. Stand up. 
That's awesome. I'm excited for you. You know, I'm, I'm excited that you're getting rolling. Yeah, I'm less nervous because I'm more prepared. That's smart. Uh, well, you didn't know what to expect the first time. Everything's yeah, I, always I had no easy, clue what to expect easier the first once time. you got one under the belt. Yeah, and yeah. I think within a couple, you'll be, you know, just ro- rocking it, you know. And I hope so. I mean, I'll be excited to see how today works out because if I were to expect anything, I mean, I think I'm going to fucking crush it. Yeah. Right? I That's what I think. I think you will. I mean, dude. Because this is why I think this. It's not just out of fucking pure... It's not just out of the air, thin air. Right. I've been practicing my, my set on people. And, like, unless people are just lying to my face, a lot of people have been laughing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I've been continuing to craft and continue to edit and put things together. Yeah, I mean, like I've, I've seen a couple of your things evolve over the last week or two. and and, 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 and saying, Ones babe. that were, like... Funny, but we're like gonna definitely be like a, a select funny. Yeah, they have become funny. I think to everybody. That's something. And the mustache. And, and yeah, the mustache, mustache has been the mustache. Uh, big. So like, dude, dude it's really come in the last few weeks. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's insane. I'm on like week six or so. Like, you know, it's it's fucking it's, it it's getting is. there. Yeah, I think that's gonna help. And uh, I'm just so excited. I just I can't wait till I can be comfortable and confident that I have a set that can crush, right? Yeah. yeah. Because then I can walk into any comedy club and just have and it. And just like it. make friends and feel like I belong. Yeah. yeah. Because right now with not having any material that like is real solid, yeah. Yeah. you don't even feel like you belong. You're like, well, I'm just kind of trying this thing out. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Well, it's like we were talking about last night. You know, every time you do it, you're going to, you know, you're going to totally. tell 10 bits or whatever it is and you're going to see sure. which ones work which ones don't yeah. then the ones that don't work you push aside totally. the ones that work you kind of ma- massage in a little bit and then mm. the next time you mm. do it, it better and better and better yeah weren't we and, watching you know, that one show with what was it Richard Pryor yeah Richard where he Pryor. was saying yeah. like he spent how long yeah, like trying to figure out his one thing like it was a long yeah. time yeah it was the like, comedy store it was like it was, yeah, yeah. And, but and it was like about, I think it was like months where he just yeah, went yeah, in there to like you know and it was just like well this sucks yeah the other comedians were talking about it yeah Mm because he's dead but uh but he was talking about how no i'm just saying they were talking about how he bombed he would bomb he would literally go out and bomb and then they'd see them him come back the next night and massage it and some stuff would hit and some stuff would bomb and then and then they said by the end of that couple months it was like every single joke was amazing you know Mm -hmm. and i think that's where you're at right now me too i hope i can see so and i want to know what you think actually this is very interesting so try to put this what I'm about to say into perspective as you, as like 15 year old you, okay? Yeah, yeah. So when I watch Richard Pryor, uh, I mean, the list is literally kind of endless, but like, yeah. let's just say all the greats, right? When mm-hmm. I watch the greats, for some reason, I'm entertained, right? I'm entertained, yeah. I'm laughing, but I also think that I could do this. Sure. Right? So yeah. I'm watching, I'm like, like, yeah, it's funny and it's great and they're the best at it, but like, I can do this right now. Why I said put it in your perspective yeah. is all right. So you're young, you're into snakes. You see these big snake breeders collections yeah. with huge amounts of snakes. Yeah. Is that the same thought you had? Like yeah. I could do this too. This I is what that, I want to do. So I think that, yeah, I think that. So one thing I think is that you always have to have like confidence that you can do something. Right. right. So you have to believe in yourself uh-huh. without being arrogant, you know, like not yeah. like I'm better than them. I can do this. This right. is nothing, but you have to have like, yeah, there's never like you, what, what it really boils down to success is a lot of things, hard work. It's this and that being in the right place at the right time, all yeah. kinds of different things, preparation meets opportunity, uh, all kinds of stuff. But at the same time, it really is not being afraid to fail. You know what I mean? Like saying like, I think I can do this mm-hmm. and I think I can be just as funny as these guys are. So I'm going to be as just as funny as these guys are. Yeah. And then that's your goal. I mean, this is the thing too. You don't want to look at, I like the fact that you said that, you know, you looking at the greats and saying, Hey, you don't want to look at the guy that like barely opens up for freaking, you know, like a, a, a third, you know, tier guy and say, I want to be like that guy. You don't want to be that you guy. Be you want to be, be, you, you yeah. be the next Richard Pryor. You want to be the next Dane Cook, the next, you know, yeah. uh, you know, whatever, C.K. Lewis, you know, whatever the case may be. Louis C.K. Louis C.K., I'm sorry. <laughs> <You're> um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you want to be the next that guy. You yeah. Know yeah. I mean? you, you know, and, and that's, I, I think that if you shoot less than that, then you're never going to achieve. I know. It's just weird, like, because it's not like a thought that I've forced to think. Right. It's kind of just like, what I've always thought. Yeah. Like, have you guys known this? So you used to have an iPod. 
Yeah. Like one of the OG iPods. Oh, like yeah. The yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, a little time. I still have it in still my car, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I used to steal it. Yeah. And I would hide in Artie's dog cage. Oh, my gosh. With the blanket over the cage so you couldn't see me. And I would listen to Dane Cook. Yeah. I had Dane Cook. Our yeah. special. Yeah. Our Aziz and Zari's comedy special. I know. Those, I would are, be those chilling. are not something you should have been listening to. No, no not at that time. I was time. probably six. Yeah, you were, oh, you were young. Great we parenting got those, the year award. We would, yeah. yeah, we would listen to them on like road trips yep. and stuff. But, yeah. but, and they were not good. And that's oh. why I would hide in the dog kennel. Yeah, because you yeah, weren't yeah. allowed to. Exactly. <laughs> and so like... <laughs> That's and it's really crazy. You're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird, like, because the more that I get into this world, I think about it more. Yeah. And the deeper the roots get, mm-hmm. the deeper I, I realize, man, this isn't something that just started developing. I've been stealing the iPod since six <laughs> and listening right. to this stuff. Yeah. I remember my friend Sam, we used to, Netflix has been around for a very long time. It's, sure. it's strange because it's just kind of sort of popped. Like, sure. yeah. passing. Yeah. But like when I was less than 10, I was eight, nine years yeah. old. Yeah. There was Netflix out. Yeah. I would go to my friend Sam's house. We would just literally for hours watch comedy specials, yeah. even if it's uh, Jeff Dunham and the fucking puppets and stuff yeah. like everything. The roots are so deep. And I, well, I think that's just thing. meant for me. I yeah. think, well, that's the thing, right? It's like, like, I'm not saying that you know, you, you should take this path. I'm just saying that to me, there was no plan B, right? You know what I mean? And that doesn't mean that you can't, can't adjust your plan, yeah. but like it was either I'm going to work with animals or bust. Mm-hmm. There was no like second plan, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And see, it's funny that you're saying this and we're talking about it. Cause I was kind of thinking about it in my drive this morning. I don't know how it came on, but I was thinking about, um, parents and their kids yeah, Mm -hmm. and like how so I'd say like very common Mm -hmm. is parents say you're going to college you're getting a a job that Mm -hmm. requires a college degree period yeah and that's what they like kind of push their kids into sure no matter what they say and a lot of people have different thoughts different whatever Mm -hmm. and they just get herded into something that they never would have wanted to do and they have other ideas but they get squashed Mm -hmm. you know and i was thinking that about us and a i think you know, maybe, you know, we have always been like that with our kids, you yeah. know, Jade did go to college mm-hmm. and did graduate, but it was what she wanted to do. We yeah, didn't, did, we yeah. didn't push it. We didn't, right. whatever. It was what she wanted. And we supported her yeah. much like you doing what you want. And we support you in that. Yeah. But I think the same thing, I think because we're w- very aware of the fact that we made our own path yeah. mm-hmm. and did, you know, whatever we did to get to where we are today, which didn't include college. It might have started there. You know, you have maybe a couple years. I've got a semester right. <laughs> under my belt, but it just wasn't yeah. the thing right. for us. And no, we were still no. able to yeah. achieve things. And so I think that we gave that gift to our kids of yeah. being able to be supportive. I, I think a lot of people don't have that no, and don't so get right. that option and don't get that support, which 100%. is sad because you know what? There's so many people that could achieve and obtain so many things that just get snuffed out out yeah. because oh, it's 100%. like no 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 yeah. you need to do this because well, you need to be a this yeah. this or that well again period. i mean i, I we know? were just talking about this the other day look yeah. at walt disney is a perfect example yeah. right you know he was 47 years old before he started disney mm. you know i mean think about that he, was, he had a job wife and kids and lived in an apartment for like 20 years before yeah for, he made yeah disney. before <laughs> yeah. he finally decided like wait a second i don't want this you know you have a great advantage because you're a, you know a young adult that has a path and 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 you know i think i do believe that no matter what you do you know you can be successful whatever it is if you decide you want to do comedy you'll make your way is it going to be an easy life no it's not going to be an easy life because it's easier to just get a job and and, no, and, and i think that's the but, difference but, too yeah. is and that's what we've always said is you can do the unconventional, but you're just going to have to work that much harder. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And as long as you realize that yeah. and you don't sit here thinking, oh, why isn't this coming to me? Because that's yeah. the reality. Like yeah. you're going to have to, I mean, you have to work hard no matter what you do, you mm-hmm. know, at yeah. any job, whether it's going to school, learning, getting whatever, or yeah. if it's forging your own path. Like yeah. honestly, nobody just hands you, you no. know, an easy life. No, no. So you, if you're going to work hard, then you, 
the the world is your oyster. You just yeah. decide this yeah. is my and goal. And if you work hard on the it. thing, and yeah. you got to remember though, if you're passionate about what you're working hard on, it's not as hard to work hard, right? Right. It's like not, like yeah. if you're working hard on something that you hate, then it's, it's not. It's, it's it's like you're like oh shit, here's another day. Yeah. But when you wake up and like oh I, I'm super passionate about this and yeah. I'm gonna work. It's it, yeah, you're working harder than anyone else, but you're you're doing it because you love it. Right. And if well, that's having, the thing. It's you know. and it's your choice. Mm -hmm. You're choosing to do it because this is your choice, right. not to say this is this is what I've been okay. It's my parents is, choice. Exactly. Yeah. This is this yeah. is what I'm going to do because it's what I'm supposed to do. It's not what yeah. I want to do, but this yeah. is my and lot you, in and life. And I think you <laughs> understand that, you know, uh, Joe Rogan's talked about it, you know, a lot of other comments I've talked about like you don't become a good comic until you have years under your belt. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it doesn't mean that you can't make a living and and do everything, but it's you know, it's going to take time, why, you and know. And that's why I want to do it because quite frankly, so yeah, I do fucking YouTube, but it's honestly so far down right now that it's not even a job anymore. But uh and so that's why I want to start this because nobody knows if YouTube will be around in 10 years. Right. But people know microphones will be a thing and yeah, there'll still be stages. Be yeah. And so if I get my 10 years in and I'm 30 years old, right? Mm -hmm. And I have 10 years of experience in comedy. I mean, that's a great uh, benefit and advantage to yeah, a lot, a lot of, of the 30 year olds crushing yeah. it now or 50 60 you know yeah and yeah. that's what i right. mean is yeah, like that's what you're saying the next generation is just and starting that's what i was saying years ago is like that's why i had faith in myself because i noticed that yeah most of the time all the great comedians are very very mature at in, in age yeah 30 40 50 60 yeah, sure. it's like very rare is it 20 year olds so yeah. it's like I'm going to fucking grab that meat ticket. I'm number 91 in line. <laughs> yeah. And Pay I'm going to wait. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to wait till the people in front of me either quit, <laughs> die, or make it. Yeah. Right? But I'm going to be there until 91 gets called. Sure. And even if I'm 40, at least I'm there. Yeah. And I have my ticket. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. And that's what you got to do. I yeah. mean, really, I mean, even us, you know, I think we, I still, I still, number one, believe that our best years are ahead of us. I, I, really, do too. I really believe that. I think that, you know, we've, and, but really, it's I, all, I, I swear, you know, I, I'm 51, right? Yeah. And I seriously believe it wasn't until we were about 45, I was about 45 before we actually figured it out. Like for, for 20 something years, 25 years, 26, Scrambling. 27 <laughs> years, I was kind of just all over the place Making right it work. yeah i was like yeah we were struggling some years we did good some years we did terrible some years we barely paid the bills some years you know what i mean but we totally. never really had a like we never thought about like like multiple revenue streams and does this make sense if we invest in this are we gonna no, have we the return investment we were just working our ass off yeah we're just working just our grinding ass off, yeah. grinding and yeah like just, <laughs> see where okay. it brings us yeah. Yeah. yeah and it just and really what yeah. happened was it took the the economic downturn where we almost lost everything before we had to learn how to become good business people yeah. Yeah. and so you know that's why i always say you know you, you're, you're 21 and and you've got such a long life ahead of you you know mm -hmm. you know barring any cal calamity that mm -hmm. hopefully yeah, doesn't I happen i think about um, that a lot but you know it's <laughs> <laughs> same dude I'm with you but uh you know i mean you know it's it's just you know I, I mean, you could blow up next year and you could be that phenom or it might take you 10 years, but you don't it doesn't know. matter. But if you you're not doing focused. it, it'll never happen. Right. Yeah. You know, every, you, you, I remember yeah. every time you step on stage, that's one step closer yeah. to maybe achieving your end goal, which is when you're going to actually be paying your bills by doing stepping and on stage. And isn't it funny because so we've you know, known so wild. many people, friends of ours, just acquaintances that have had dreams or aspirations that were great ideas and that probably with hard work could have turned into stuff that just never happened because yeah, they, they never yeah. pulled the they trigger. never pulled the trigger they yeah. never took those steps you know what i mean and that's what i'm saying like and that's why i would always support you know you j anybody really it's like you know what if you don't try you never know well it's funny you know, you our, know? our massage therapist uh she, she t talked to me uh, Monday mm -hmm. about uh, and we sound I sound so fucking swank when Dude, I, my uh, my uh, trainer uh, my uh, massage uh, yeah. my yeah. foot yeah. massager yeah. my yeah. pedicure Jessica yeah. Jessica my accountant yeah my uh, my manicure yeah. uh, when I was getting a manicure the other day yeah. uh, <laughs> so anyways Darcy was um uh you know she was you know she she's in a position where she wants to try to get the whole building right and she might have an opportunity to do it but she was wanting it for like 
this price and they wanted $500 more. And that's why I told her, I said, don't, don't let your dreams get held up over 500 bucks. Yeah. Jump on that shit right now. Totally. Because you know what? Even if it fails, you can look back and say, I gave it a shot. It totally. didn't work out. And if you said, didn't but, try over five hundred dollars, like yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. what? It, don't what if? No. Don't ever have no. that what if? What if we didn't do it? What if this yeah. didn't happen? I mean, look at you know. I mean, how many things have we done that didn't work out? But I don't care. A I don't, lot. <laughs> yeah, and I, but I don't look back. Way and more say, than that did work out. I yeah, can tell exactly. you that. <laughs> I mean, we got ten thousand tips for sitting in the basement next to <laughs> you know, literally uh, in the gift shop area. I'm trying to think. Can I sell them in the gift shop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's got snake skin on it. Put your bob on here. Yeah, a, Come on what, now. How old's your kid in the birthday party? Seven? Oh, I got the perfect oh, gift come, for Let him. me show you something. Tipsters all around. Yeah, tipsters for everybody. I, I still, I, weirdly enough, I still think tipsters going to be a idea. success. I and think it it's going to be a success. Dude, when, it it this wasn't the year to try. No. <laughs> it might even be better right. than it than yeah. before because right, yeah. the now there's this pent up energy of party. people are going to be like <laughs> yeah. I don't want one beer yeah, I, I want all five beers five. you're so Eight. right bro. Beers. yeah and they're just do, 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 do. yeah they're just like machine gunning them it might be uh, better yeah it might be no, better I, th- I think in, 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 I think if it's uh, all yeah. the right hands yeah <laughs> you gotta but, uh, get college colors I think I, I've said thing, that right? since day one bro. yeah well I think that once we get to, if, if if we Listen, sell the 10,000 units we could have any college colors yeah they're great baby listen if we get serious if we get if we sell this ten thousand we will absolutely do college colors yeah. you got to you know but that but that's, was the you know, game plan yeah. that like, was the game plan from the yeah. start we were like we're going to do one run at the second run and what it would be is you would go to a website and you could pick whatever color you want you Hell want green yeah. white green white you want you know blue Hot. yellow yeah, blue yeah. yellow whatever you that's want you gotta, choose you it has know? to be that way yeah but 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 it's it, it's not obviously but my point is is that you know we spent you know i don't know 100 grand on that project i don't even know something like that seventy five hundred grand whatever it was we spent on that project <laughs> and literally <laughs> made so nothing Nothing. Oh, can, nothing. Nothing. Let's talk to my accountant real quick. We got Let me a see. Bo- yeah, we got a basement full we got of boxes. A box, <laughs> full of boxes. But I don't of potential. But that's the thing. number one. I don't number. Right. One, I don't think the it's a dead. I bet dead business. No, I still think there's a chance. But it could die. But but you know what the difference is is that even if it died, I would be able to look back and say we tried. You exactly. Know? It wasn't it was cool. just the thought that never did because yeah. your thought yeah. came you know to what fruition. Would suck. Yeah. Is five years from now Somebody someone else, else does this, Making this millions. thing yes. and, and they just made a hundred million dollars? Yeah. And I go, that's my design. Yep. What's going on? And yeah. by the way, I have that patented. So don't fucking try to don't steal even it, steal it, bitch. Fucker. Try to steal it. We have that patented. Yeah, baby. Part of that money is in patents. So yeah, not actually, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Most of it, right? It's shocking how much money patents cost. I thought yeah. that I would. Again, we learned that. That was the first thing we ever yeah. patented. You know, really? so. Yeah, wow. we learned that shit. So let's hit a couple. Yeah, of yeah. yeah. So starting to crush them. Uh, Abaddon, 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 hey, Abaddon, 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 Abaddon says, "Hey guys, love you. Just wanted to know, Lori, what is your favorite reptile?" Mm. It's a good one, Dilder. It's a good it's one. Got a, it's got. A, I'm gonna let you answer. Oh, are you gonna yeah. let me answer? Uh, my you, should, you should jump in, honestly. Oh, you I think you should jump what, in. Tell me what my I think, I think you should probably answer this one, Lori. If you want, I'll answer it for you. Come on. I'd love to. I want to know what your your answer would be. Matilda. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the? F- <laughs> what was that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was agreeing. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um. What is your answer? What is your answer? Okay. Yeah, Matilda. <laughs> Matilda. Yeah. I think Matilda or Hognose would be. Would Hognose rank up there or no? No, from from a, a reptile. Yeah, probably Matilda. Matilda and or. And other tortoises. Other tortoises. Yeah. Yeah. Tortoises are nice. Yeah. So ivy, ivy. It's not a tortoise. <laughs> That's you love not the one of my favorites. Though, don't you? No, I you don't. You know what was cool today? So you know how uh, guanas, goanas, they can tripod. Uh, my yeah. the go- argum, yeah, yeah, argus yeah, monitor, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. She can, uh, she can yeah, fucking tripod. tripod. Yeah. So she doesn't do it naturally. What do you mean tripod? They so go like, up on their back legs. like a velociraptor. Yeah, yeah they so. go like this. Jay, oh, do you so want to stand on two legs? Uh, yeah, when okay. they're hunting. Uh, uh, Argus yeah, monitor. Argus They'll just have them tripod. on tripod. Yeah, Argus monitor tripods. Yeah, so like when they're hunt. So I have her out, and dude, pff, she's basically a fucking puppy. Like I yeah. have her on my lap and oh, stuff. Oh, okay. And so I it's pet like her. she's walking. Like, like, yeah. Oh yeah. And I pet her chin, right? And I'm underneath her chin and stuff. And so I put her on the ground. And she never tripods. And I think it's because she's like in... Uh, you know, humanity is yeah, in captivity, fucking captivity. Yeah. Yeah. So like, she doesn't even know she can do it. Right. Yeah. So I pushed up on her chest and like, I like set her legs up yeah. 
And like she was just like feeling it. She was like, like oh, balancing. this is cool. Wait she's a like, yeah, she's to, like, I can do this. I'm supposed to be doing this shit. What's up? And it surprised me how tall she was. Yeah. She was a lot taller than I thought she would be when I yeah. fed her up like that. And uh, so I'm I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I think I'm going to start training her to, go to up try and the, oh, do that. Yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome that'd to have a really command cool. to just yeah, yeah, have her like, pop up? up? No, that would be really cool. And ironically enough, it, uh, Nile monitors aren't known for doing it, but Chicken Strip does. Try yeah, he does. When he launches, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's exactly yeah. what he does. Yeah. When he launched in your yeah. video, yeah. yeah. It's just like, woo. Yeah, and they do that so they can look over the grass. So cool. So they can get high enough to look over the grass at so things. Cool. So it's it's a cool, yeah, it's a really cool adaptation. Oh. Another random thing. This it's it's about Argus Miner, so it's just in my brain. I saw this uh, exterminator using an Argus monitor. What? That's yeah, cool. A baby Argus monitor. I mean, he was probably <laughs> to get no, rodents or something. Yeah, eight <laughs> rodents good. in a chicken coop. <laughs> he, he had this little guy on his neck, right? Huh? And his name's Raptor. Oh my god. And he gosh. got Raptor out, and he would just put it on the ground. And immediately got one. Oh my gosh. And he was just That's like, funny. All right, seems like Raptor's going to work today. And then he got eight more. Oh my gosh. And I just thought that was amazing. That's actually cool. You got, you got a second That's career funny. there going. No. <laughs> that there comedy go. thing Start, doesn't work out. Exactly. You got Argamas for rodent extermination. Exterminator. <laughs> well, quite literally. <laughs> Exterminator. Exterminator. Monitor. Exterminator. Exterminator. That's why. Yeah, it's a hard one. That That's is hard another one. reason why I, I mean, I have confidence that I can do most things in this world. That makes sense. Like, obviously, I can't be an NBA player and, and stuff like that. <laughs> if you tried hard enough, you could. Yeah, just start yeah, exactly. growing. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, A, if that's because you guys have proved it, you guys, you have your businesses and, you know, all that shit. But and then also, if I do ever fail, I know I could just work the fucking cash register at the red table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the gift shop. Yeah, exactly. We're going to need, need someone swimming with the stingrays here. Yeah, and I can do year. that. Right. And I will do that. So All right, I'm going to go on with the rays tonight. That's it, baby. The reality is, seriously, honestly, I think that's the mentality you have to have. Like, you have to give it your all to try to achieve your dream, knowing what's the worst case scenario. Because honestly, that's how I've always yeah. felt. With us, like, putting everything out there, what's the worst case scenario? I work at Walmart. Yeah, working like, at Old Bridge. You know what I mean? Like, Whatever. I'll go get a freaking job. Anywhere Which is already I have the option to, if you don't try. That's what exactly. I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Exactly. I'll, like, I'll never not have a job because you just get whatever job is there yeah. if worst case scenario yeah. it all goes to shit. Well, so as long as you're okay why, yeah. and just go like, whatever. Like, And that's one know? of the reasons why it's so good that we haven't lived beyond our means. You know what I mean? It's like we yeah. could, we literally could get jobs at Walmart and pay our bills. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's what's crazy. I mean, even with the success that we've had with our businesses, we literally, our, our personal life, we could literally go get jobs at Walmart I and mean, pay our bills. I mean, we're fortunate that, yeah, both of us aren't very yeah, um, materialistic. materialistic with things. Yeah, I, mean, I got a nice truck, though. Super hot. I can't that believe nice. that thing hasn't been ripped off yet. I, why have nobody, especially because I leave the keys in everywhere. I go. <laughs> Literally, Come on, please it. take it. Somebody, please <laughs> take it. You don't have full anyone, coverage. So for, that doesn't listen, matter. for anyone on the podcast, if anyone, you come to Reptera, you could probably start my car because the keys are in the addition. You can drive away with that. <laughs> but you probably right won't get far. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. we'll find you like a mile down the road. 18 and a half down. mile, yeah. And and by the way, yeah, said that. yeah. By the way, uh, I can't yeah. believe he said that either. That's but crazy. before you take it, stop next door and blow the tires up. It's probably going to go flat before you get down the street. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. Someone's literally going to steal your car. Yeah, I know. Brian, but you said He's on the podcast. Because then he'll get a new one. Yeah, that's, that's, that'll force me to get a new one. It's Ooh. so yeah. bad. Like, I get in and drive it to, like, back up out of the driveway so I can leave the house. And you're scared like, for your life. You're terrified. It's just like... <laughs> yeah, like, it, it clonks and it clanks and, like, it sticks. Like, you turn the thing and it's like... Argh! <laughs> it's an ab workout. Yeah, You're yeah. shredded. That's right. It's it's good. You know. I just it's, it's just if anyone steals it, could you leave the Raycons aside? Because I, I I really I don't need wanna, those. I don't want to lose my Raycons. Now the Raycons. they're just gonna steal the Raycons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't steal my Raycon. And please. your only baby picture. By the way, you, yeah. Yeah, picture you can go to buyraycon.com. <laughs> use the promo code Brian B. <laughs> uh, That's good promo code. Yeah, 15% go. off. Yeah, 15% off already good deal. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, got that uh, that promo coming up here. Soon, so <laughs> Hopefully coming. soon, right? I think we got, uh, I think the, uh, you got preview by the 5th. So nice. We know, so. yeah, let's crush it out. Hell yeah. yeah. What uh, is Emily? Uh, Emily says, just popping in, still working at hashtag FedEx Ground. Oh, shit. Ooh. Can't wait to watch later. Love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing and F the haters. Thank you so much, Emily. F the yeah, There's know. so much. Uh, I've been getting so much hate recently. Ah, uh, look at Giovanni says. He says, uh, "At Lori Barcheck, you're invited to LOL at <laughs> Noah Barcheck slide, bro." 
Ooh. So uh, <laughs> nice. you've been getting a lot of hate lately, you said? Oh, I've been getting so much hate recently. Why? Why? People just don't like when ra- uh, white people rap. Really? Oh, yeah, my God. Like it's that. livid, man. Really? They get livid. And to them, Why? I... I don't know. They're racist. This is what I say. If take the product for what it is, and you can say like, uh, "Oh, the song's not good," but don't have to bring race into it, right? Right? They bring the race it's not into because it. You're white. So it's why is it because it's not good? They're, yeah. Like, well, like, no, that's what I'm saying. They should say, right. but the, a lot of people bring the race into it, that's and too bad. Uh, I don't know. It's it's always been a thing, you know, because it's true, hip hop and that kind of stuff. Of course, is more of an African American thing, but like. Why does it matter? I don't think right. it matters. And people get stuck on this whole thing, like the cultural appropriation and such like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. and honestly, I I think ninety nine percent of that is bullshit. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, I I why can't I indulge in a fucking taco and a cerveza? Like, right, come yeah. on. Yeah. Just because I'm not Mexican, I can't have a fucking cerveza. You right, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And so, so uh, you know, it's just well, that's too bad. I I'm know. sorry that people have been doing that shit. No, it's fine. It, I this is what I was telling Jay. I think it's a good thing. Because, yeah. because um, usually, if you're not getting hate, yeah, then that's not good. Yeah, because you you don't want to please everybody, right? You want to piss half off, and you want to please yeah. half. Well, it's you like don't I, wanna... I've said that right. Always, you want to create emotion. Yeah, w- whether the emotion is I hate you or the emotion is I love you, <laughs> you want one of the two. Exactly. You don't want to be vanilla. I agree with you. And yeah. somebody, uh, some. I'm going to call her out. Lady, you thought you were getting away. <laughs> but this older white chick, right? Yeah. She called me a wigger. Oh, that's too bad. She said, you're With a hard R. Hard R. Yeah. Hard R. Hard R. She didn't say wigger. Uh, yeah. She said, you're a wigger. That's and she bad. said, it's a shame. You have so much potential. That's what she said. That's too bad. And, that's and I, fucked yeah. up. Yeah. And, yeah. and I said, uh, and this is what I said in my head. I said, lady, I'm going to show this to your boss. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you know what you just said? Yeah. It's so, it, it's really a shame that people would, would uh, it, it really is racist, you know, on both sides, you know what I mean? It's like, well, you I know, don't. I'm just saying, oh, like, yeah. you know, no, no matter whether you do it to a black person, you do it to a white person, it's it's still racist, you know what I mean? Like, sure. like white person can, can uh, I think that you've always identified a lot with African-American <laughs> culture. No, I'm, no, I, no, I'm serious. I think you have. Well, you I know? like it. Right, like I think that you feel comfortable with that culture more than some white people would, and and then there's some black people that feel very comfortable with white culture. It doesn't make it right or wrong, right? Yeah, you know I, I agree. Mean, it doesn't like I mean, if you're like Jay, is more white than he is black. You know what I mean? Like in Seriously. his actions. Yeah, and and obviously and that's yeah, like yeah. a fucking and, joke. And, or and, whatever, but it doesn't but. mean that he's like a bad black guy. No, you know what I mean? It just means that you know. Yeah, how about people yeah, just can weird. be who they are? Right, and people keep their shitty opinions to themselves. Yeah. yeah, it's not like, you know, well, you know, you, you're a black guy. Yeah. You shouldn't play laser tag. <laughs> you, <laughs> know, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's not me. Like, yeah, come on. You <laughs> but know? you're so you're right. Just, it's yeah. not just a person. You like exactly. laser tag. You can you know? do whatever whatever you Your want. You can yeah. like what you nothing. like. And yeah. But yeah, I just think it's, it's so funny because yeah. um, I honestly don't know why yet. But I know that there's something to it. That's good. Like that, I'm just pissing a bunch of people off with yeah. these songs, man. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't know why I'm pissing them off so much because it's not like, if anything, I'm just trying to make a good song. Yeah. And it's just like people are just getting pissed. But and guess so hopefully what? that fucking launches me. But I don't hey, know. You know what? I'm sure. Whatever. Look at all of the white Confused. rappers or all of the. Yeah, you know like what I mean? Of them. It, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm one of them. I'm and one guess of them. what? They've pissed a lot of people off too. Like, well, yeah, you know, that's still, what I'm saying. I mean, Anthony oh, yeah. said And it the doesn't make them he... less good <laughs> just because people don't like them. Yeah. Like, that's the yeah. thing. What did Anthony say? Anthony said that I think Eminem should get canceled. And I kind of told him, I said, why? I fucking hate the kind of cancel culture I yeah hate i hate it. that shit i hate it yeah. you know leave it you know you don't like someone just leave him the fuck alone exactly you don't have Let to cancel him, do him you know and you do you and just what was his reasoning alone. i didn't he just ask. doesn't like eminem he just mm. doesn't like it. he's which just is, being silly yeah which is silly yeah, yeah it doesn't make any which sense. is fine oh, yeah. that's a thing you don't like Dude, him fine you don't have cancel no him. idea how much shit i don't like but exactly that you have no idea because i don't have to put it fucking out there like if i don't like something i just don't watch it don't listen to it don't whatever i don't make a big deal about it i just go to what i do 
like. Right. Because that's how it should be. Right. You know? <laughs> what do we got? Uh, <laughs> Melissa says, good luck, Noah. Love you guys. Uh, love you, you more, yeah, Melissa. Yeah, yeah. Come and over here. Get kids. Is that, <laughs> oh, fuck. Was that, yeah. Did I get me too? No. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That, that was me too. That was me too. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't wait for a reply. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't let you consent. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Melanie <laughs> also says, good luck tonight, Noah. You will kill it. Oh, uh, well, thank you so much, Thanks, Melanie. Melanie. You, she doesn't get a kiss? Well, Melanie, would you like a kiss? <laughs> Get back there you go. Ask for me. Fail yes. forward. Fail forward. Get yeah. back to me. Get back to me. Serenity <laughs> Serpent says, remember when Chewy was the count and Noah was a sperm? Good oh times. Love oh, yeah. you all. Noah, you've been funny since the beginning, baby. Hey, yeah. serendipity. <laughs> serpent. I, ironically enough, I get... Uh, the vaccine this Monday. <laughs> yeah, that has to do with in everything. A, a, it no, does. It does. Ironically. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. The reason I want to talk about this is that of all people yeah. in the world that you would think would help me get a vaccine, I know. Chewy is the yeah. one that got me the vaccine. Yeah. Chewy, yeah. of know, all people. You know how he got it? He took it. He, he, he just stole fucking it. stole it. Yeah. And, it doesn't and he matter stole that, two. He yeah, stole it, one yeah. for you. It doesn't matter. It's been thought out for the last six <laughs> yeah. months, right? It has to be at negative 90 degrees, good. but that's fine. It's that's fine. Good. He put it in his cooler it's with ice. It's in the freezer. Yeah. It's in his it's McDonald's good. freezer. Yeah. No, yeah. Weirdly, no enough, McDonald's cup. Weirdly enough, his sister had, works at the place that vaccines. And, yeah. and I'm over 50, so it's it's legit. Like It's not like I'm cutting in front of anybody. You know, I mean, I, anyone over 50 is, is eligible, but you just can't get a vaccine in Michigan. It's impossible. And of all people, Chewy. Uh, came through. So came through. So yeah, God bless you, Chewy. I wonder why some states are further behind than others. Like bad why? logistics. Yeah, it's, I think I think I it, it's I the think, government. Yeah, it I has to just, be yeah. our particular government. Yeah, it's just a bummer. But but. We're not going to find the answer. So let's hit no. the super. Let's chat. go. Let's Stephanie, go. Stephanie says through fifty dollars for the Ooh, wine fund. Love hey, you, wine. Lori. Oh, Holy, that's a, a couple bottles right there. Yeah, we're going to take that money and buy something else with it. Wine. Yeah, like an otter. Yeah, the otter, <laughs> the otter fun. The reptarium no, it three wasn't, point. It wasn't an otter fun. It what? was wine. Reptarium I need the 3. wine 0. to get through every single day of living with you two. Reptarium and three point yeah. and four point oh happening. Not wrong at all. Ooh, we're sweet. not we're not just doing three point oh. We're doing three and four point oh. All right, we're going to take the next super. <laughs> Silver Cash says four years ago I didn't know a single person that owned a snake. Mm. To mm. now I'm breeding rats and want to breed ball pythons. Nothing nice. is holding Damn. me back. I'm working my butt off so I'll one day be able to do what I want out of life. I think nice. you will, yeah. man. I think you will, dude. Seriously. Yeah, he's crushing. Yeah, yeah you're on a mission. Yeah, keep going. Simple Finish Man it. says, is there a pure black ball python or is the mahogany the closest it can get? And good luck tonight, Noah. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so there's not really a pure black. So the Suma, the super mahogany, uh, is probably as good as it gets. Dark brown. Yeah. Because that one's darker than like the super cines. Yeah, right? it's darker than the super cines. It's probably about the same as the super black pastels. Mm. Uh, but of course, the super black pastels have some duck billing and kinking issues, uh, whereas the sumas are pretty solid as far as their their you know looks no and kinking stuff. and looks, and they don't have duck billing and all that stuff. So unfortunately, I think that if you really worked on, let's say, okay, if you wanted to go long on this project, you could go blackhead. Mm. Super Suma Azanthic. Yeah. Mm. And I Take think you would get, I think you would get black. I think that at that point, if you took the black the yellow out of the with the Azanthic and then added the black mm. head that makes it a little bit darker, I think you would get to a black ball python. So I agree. So I'm I think I think you could get sense. there. I'm so surprised that's not already a thing. Yeah, I think well, that some of those it's, things it's are newer project, though. Yeah. Right, well, and and it takes a while to breed and to do that. Yeah, the azanthic not, part sucks because yeah. it's recessive. You know, yeah. it takes a while, but I mean that's achievable. You could easily breed a a blackhead to a suma or to a, yeah to a suma or a mahogany, whichever, and get a a, a mahogany blackhead or, blackhead or a suma blackhead pretty quickly, and then you bred anything into azanthic. Then you would just have to raise up and breed it back. I mean, it would take no, a little I'm while. I'm surprised but, you know. it's not like a thing already yeah it's because you so say you are a painter and you take a canvas if you start adding enough stuff together it just gets all like black right right and just like mushy and black right yeah so like i'm surprised that some dummy just hasn't like mixed a bunch of random stuff well, together interestingly and come out enough well, with ball pythons enough, it goes the other way Kevin, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, interesting enough with ball pythons it goes the other way where really? everything Lights is up. yellow or white yeah oh, wow. i no was pattern. gonna say that's the genes in the yeah. in the animals are a little bit different than paints as far as what yeah they do. yeah it actually goes the other way but like I'm kevin's thinking. your best bet yeah. because that's literally he has so many animals with so many genes, 42 he genes. doesn't even yeah. know what's in it yeah, because like that's genes, his yeah. his theory was just throw it all together yeah, see what yeah. you get. Yeah. I don't mind that theory. It's just like the people that do like the splatter paint. Yeah. yeah. 
And just no, like, it really <laughs> good. The problem is, is that you start getting to a point where you don't know. After you get past like four sure. genes, you really don't even know the other genes. Yeah. You know, it's like I think it's this, I think it's that, I think it's this, I think that it's sucks. that, until you breed it out. But uh, but yeah, for some reason in ball pythons, once you get lots and lots of genes, they start getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Um, as, yeah. as opposed to because there's not a lot of dark genes. There's sure. chocolate. There's you know, uh, you know, obviously mahogany and blackhead and a few other. But as soon know, as you mix and, a lesser, you blow yeah. that out. But yeah, and then you, you know? go the. And most people do that. Then you know, you throw that gene, and now it becomes lighter instead of darker. So, okay. so yeah, but yeah. Silver Cash says, "Good luck to good luck tonight, Noah. Stand up is all about adopt uh, adapting, uh, and, and you got this. adopting adopting. So it's all about adopting kids. Well, yeah, you, well, yeah, you get more experience, which I'm life. okay yeah. with because I want all of the grandkids. Well, so Texas yeah. stork now. The more you adopt, the more you're going to be good. The better you'll be. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Scottish. So. Think of all the stories of the, the kids. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. And I so I got 18 so adopted much, kids. Yeah. So much content. Yeah. So much content. Yeah. Uh, so much copulation. Scottish Rob says college isn't for everyone. A lot of success tradesmen out there. Both my boys are techie and working on the new Lucid cars. Ooh. Hope oh, your set yeah. kills, Noah. Ooh, Dude, thank you. And do you know about the Lucid cars? Mm -hmm. Tell me. I saw. I've only seen one ever in my entire life okay. in a Tim Hortons parking okay. or not parking lot driveway drive through, mm -hmm. right? Right. It's like a Tesla on crack. Look at this Sexy, thing. Oh, right? oh yeah, what we actually that? punched Show this up at one point. Show them yeah. the one on the road where you can kind of see the headlights. Two more to the right. Yeah, that one. So oh what? shit, it's super small. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right wow. But like you see how the head, the yeah. headlights yeah. just like one so bar. So is it yeah. an electric car? Yeah. Get a, get oh, a view yeah. of that booty. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that booty. It's so it's like just weird. BMW vibes I have definitely for sure. Not seen that. Yeah. Yeah, I but how much ever they cost? One. I think they're really expensive. Super expensive. Like really expensive. Yeah. Like how much do these suckers? I mean, cost? I wouldn't be surprised. You're just paying six figures. Yeah, seventy thousand. That's 70, not 000. that's Tesla ish. You know, that's Tesla ish. Tesla ish. Tesla -ish. Tesla -ish. Tesla -ish. Yeah, you're right. You you're right. US it is. Tax Bad tax credit there. You're right. Too. We just got the stimmy. <laughs> yeah. Got that stimmy, baby. And the stimmy. Stimmy. Are you kidding me? We should all be driving those. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get no stimmy. No. <laughs> no we we didn't get no stimmy. We ain't got no stimmy. In I'm this stimulated. House. You got stimmy. We didn't get <laughs> Things no are different. Uh, mama <laughs> says, no, what Mama J backs up. Uh, Thank you. But you will be number one, buddy. Mm. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I love I you. Thank you. Just as I love my own mom. Oh, yes. so Aww. sweet. Aww. So nice. Thank so you. sweet. Thank you for the support. <laughs> Le <laughs> Let Rose's bird says, I only graduated from high school. I work with yeah. people half my age that have thousands of dollars in student debt. Nice. And they are washing dog butts just like me. <laughs> yep. Everyone so, needs to do what is so best for them. So remember we were talking about uh, the crazy dogs. Okay. The, the dog grooming. There's actually a show coming out. No. I think it might be on Discovery or some It's some probably Discovery Almost Plus like Fortune because Fire or that's something. where all of the, but, all but all the shows can, are. I don't know. Can you punch up like uh, <clears throat> dog, dog grooming show? Dog grooming like, competition show. Dog grooming show. show. Uh, you, know, show you know, TV show or something like that. Uh, Pooch Perfect. That's, huh. that's so it. it's going to be another <laughs> like Fortune Fire, but with puppies. Uh, and yeah, and, and it's adorable. I mean, it, the stuff they're doing with these dogs is adorable. Pooch oh, yeah. Perfect is what it's that's called. That's adorable. That yeah. is actually really cute. Well, that's that's, that's nothing. That's the transformation. That's no, no, of course. That's no, pretty you, good. You see. Though. Yeah, and that chick is in it. That, that, that blonde chick's uh, like one of the hosts. The this comedian. One? Yeah. The, 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 oh, the, is she the one from... She, isn't she the, uh, oh, the, yeah, the, the British... Uh, Pitch Perfect? Uh, she is from Pitch Perfect. Yes. Damn it. And then I can't they remember her name. Perfect. I follow her on yep. Instagram. Exactly. Yeah. So Damn. It looks Classic. great. She's so funny. it was just funny. We were just talking about, because, you know, Let Roses Burn does gr dog grooming, well, right? Well, clearly yeah. I know yeah. this now. Yeah. So, I did uh, not. So, yeah. So we were just talk talking about the, I'm like, if I was a dog groomer, I would do those crazy, and now there's a, a show coming out. <laughs> I'm not surprised, yeah, because there is some pretty crazy stuff. Oh, my gosh. All Are right. Gotta I got to go. All right. Thank you, guys. Everyone that supports me, I appreciate you. I love you guys. Break a leg. I'll break a leg. Yeah, I told mom, you know where this that saying comes from? Where? It's saying because when you crush it, yeah. you know, people are and yeah. stomping their feet yeah. that you want them to stomp their feet so hard they break their leg. Okay, Anyways, so sorry. Go break I'll go break some else's leg. Go break some legs, Noah. Right, I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you in a bit. Good luck. Love you. Love you. All right, what's next? <laughs> Kim says, uh, just threw five dollars for love. I'm sure she has a super chat somewhere and I will try to find it. Thank you, Kim. Uh then Roberta says, Hey everyone, so many of us wish. Uh, we had parents like the two of you. Love and respect to you all. Well, thank you. I mean, that's very we, nice. Uh, yeah, it is nice. Well, I think that we both have appreciate it. I mean, we're not perfect. No, by, by any far, means. No, by any but, means, yeah. But In, uh, you know, it's just like I told you know Noah. We were talking. You know, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to try to you know take what your parents gave you and improve on it. 
right? right? You yeah. know, and that's been my Well, motto. my parents gave me well, dog shit, so, <laughs> so like... So it's been well, pretty easy for me. So, yeah, you can't really you get improved, any worse. Have you improved on it? I would and hope to think so, yeah. And that's exactly it, right? Yeah. If everybody just does that, that that's, you know... Yeah. That's what you do. No, I mean, yeah, and you, you know, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, Creme de la Clutch says, what's up, fam? I sent Jay a link on Instagram for what I believe to be the next big home gaming and exercise system. What do you think? $3 a share, good investment, question mark? Haven't mm. seen this yet, you so know. I have to see. Well, yeah, okay. we'll have to. I'd love to 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 Curious. see it because I'm always looking the forward to. The next big home uh, gaming and exercise. I'm wondering if it's one of those yeah. VR treadmills because yeah. that's what a lot of people have been doing right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I would love to know more about Yeah, I'm it, looking though. it up right now. Um well, you guys are talking. I'll and I'm actually that. looking at the next. Uh, I think it's called Omni by Virtuix. Cardino ADA. What the fuck? I don't know. See, I'm not. A yeah, big, it's one of those VR treadmills. Yeah, I'm not a big cardio person. So, so someone, uh, I got a little tip about the next uh, cryptocurrency, too. Dun -dun. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What, what, that? what, what, what is that? It's, it's called car, Can you punch this up? What? Uh, say, like, price for C A R. D A N O A D A. Coronada? Yeah, that Coronada. Guys, yeah. yeah, right that, there. No, you're one? right. You're oh, right. It's right here? It's ADA is separate. Up to say search results for the This one yeah, right here. One right there, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so a dollar ten. So this is supposedly like this particular person that like had invested in Bitcoin and Ethereum early on said that he thought this was that was the next like potential. I guess because of the blockchain, they basically it's like just like Ethereum and just like uh, uh, Bitcoin, but they like spent three years perfecting it before they offered it for sale. Huh. Interesting. So he was like, this is the big tip. And it's a buck, you know, I mean, to put five grand into it, if it turns into a hundred thousand well, dollars, then you're, you put a hundred dollars yeah. into it. Well then, <laughs> not even worth my time. I mean, <laughs> Let me. I'll talk to my yeah. accountant and my yeah, yeah, my, yeah. my physical therapist. And I'll be I back. am. I am the accountant. How about you put a hundred dollars into it? <laughs> I, wet, I wet my butt we'll with hundred dollar bills. We'll see where that takes you. <laughs> hundred uh, shares don't get you nothing. Yeah, it'll get you a hundred shares. You're good. <laughs> and if it takes Damn. off, right, Damn, bro, thousand sorry, dollars, man. a thousand dollars, hundred. <laughs> all right <laughs> soul is hockey I haven't seen him in a minute so i haven't nice seen to see him, him in a bit yeah. says hey guys sorry i missed out on a few fishing in the nice weather oh, no nice. uh go for it only way to do it is work at it 100 percent. love from portland yeah thank you and portland has to be beautiful this time of year i would nice. imagine. glad you're so. fucking enjoying yeah, it i hope That's you're awesome. catching some good fish yeah I, mean, I can only imagine out there in portland how beautiful <sighs> it must be fort hood or mount hood yeah mount hood mount hood in oh. the background freaking little fashion little fashion i don't go fi i've been on fishing a couple times in my life but my goal this summer is to do some fishing really on, on our lake i think you can actually enjoy that i don't know if i will because i don't know i used to, so when i was young i went uh fishing uh at houghton lake with uh, with my family <laughs> and uh i couldn't put the worms on the hook it grossed me You're out old enough you yeah now you now. now you've so you've i'm thinking rats do you do that shit. do you do that laurie because could you do hook i don't like thing? it either but if i can do it you can do it so could you do it for no. me no you're a grown-ass man put i don't your think i could put a worm hook. through a hook i think Ooh, you could do it's it so gross Oh God. Maybe can I do like do they can you do lures without fish? Yeah, of course. Lures without worms. Yeah. Okay, because I don't like that. Are that hurts the poor me? little worms. Are you <laughs> you literally worms. break. They them have like three neurons in their they, brain. Yeah, and they turn yeah. into different beings. They're fine. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hurt those poor little worms. <laughs> you know what? You're feeding the garters. You're feeding the baby garters this oh, year. I oh, never, that's I good. Yeah. No, that's good yeah. therapy. Good that therapy. is. No, that's no you're, good. That, you're the guy. Whoever feeds those garters is going to hell. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are, because that's going to be your no, job. I can't now. do it. No, you are. I'm I don't give a do shit. It. You're doing it. I'm a Buddhist. I, I don't it. believe in you hurting can't, anything. You living can't thing. have somebody else do a job that you're not able to do. Oh, that's true. You got to lead by example, Brian. I'll feed them guppies. No. Mm -hmm. They need worms. I'm not cutting worms. You're up. doing it. All right, let's go. <laughs> James says, hey, family. Hey, Brian, have you ever met Jake the Snake Roberts? If so, was he as crazy as he seems? It, no, I have not, you know, and, and you would think Weird. that we would have crossed paths at some point. Uh, you know, the truth is, is that, I mean, like, obviously, like, what he did with snakes was probably not, although he brought a lot of exposure to snakes, obviously, yeah. you know, most probably, maybe one of the most famous snake people behind Steve Irwin. Yeah, in I a way, agree. You know I what agree. I mean? Um, 
But he didn't like, I mean, you know, throwing them around. You're talking and like, yeah, on. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I don't That's know that he necessarily had the, the, the no. right image that we were wanting to partner up with. Uh, but I would I would love to meet Did him. Did our friend and I think, Scott know him? No, Scott didn't know him. Okay. No, no, no. He was in, in a little bit too big for Scott. Uh, for Scott, right. Scott's a big boy. Well, I'm talking about. I know, you know, I know. The, the, the name the that size. Yeah, yeah. Rain, yeah. Um, but no, I, I, I would love to still meet him and just get a picture with him. You know, oh, have I him agree. on the podcast. Could you yeah, that would be that great. On the podcast. I guess. I, I, I think I did talk to Scott, and he said that he had a friend, and he said like. Like, you know, obviously those guys are pretty has-been-ish now, you know. Mm -hmm. And so he said it was like maybe like five grand to, for an appearance with that guy. You know, so like for five grand, you could be like, yeah, come on the podcast. I wouldn't spend five grand to have him on the podcast. But I'm yeah. just saying like it wouldn't be a crazy <laughs> amount of money to have someone like that on the podcast. I mean, I hope to God, like I'd be on somebody else's podcast for five grand as well. Yeah, yeah, let's hope that we can be there one day. <laughs> V-Dog says, so we don't know what media outlet will be popular. You can guarantee the amount of content will be overwhelming, making it that much harder to stand out. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. You know, we don't know what the future is. I mean, you know, look at, you know, Noah brought up Netflix, you know, like literally just in the last, you know, 10, I think Netflix is going to be out of business soon, to be honest. It, it very with well could be because, you know, you, you now have so much competition that is doing it, you know, taking what Netflix did and, and capitalizing on it. The one thing I find about Netflix, and I like Netflix a lot, of course, but I find too. that, like, there's not enough new stuff on it. Or you stuff. Know I, mean? I think it yeah. depends. Um, so it'll be interesting. I don't know. I don't know that I agree with you on that. It depends on what they do. They've come out with a lot of original content, yeah, they, they which makes that, a deal. Yeah. And so while you might like some certain shows that are on these other things, like I find that if, if I log my time on all the different apps, right. that I probably watch Netflix more. Than others. Yeah, I think right now so, that's the case. And if Netflix stays yeah. aggressive, because I know they did 100 movies this year, <laughs> yeah. or 50 movies, or whatever it was. It was a ridiculous amount of yeah. movies. Yeah, I but think not what, even one the movie movies, I, but even but just the, the series. and yeah, things. Right. Right. Yeah. But I think the problem it's going to have is if they start losing market share, they're not going to have the money to make the content. Yeah, yeah because you know? the problem is right now is that all of the, like, I went to look up comedy movies last night. Yeah. 99.9% .9 of them have been pulled because there's a new comedy app that's coming out. That's oh, like, yeah. so that's what's going to happen. All the scary shows going to go on a scary app. All well, the, yeah, you figure, yeah. you know, Disney Plus yanked Discovery. all of, yeah, D yeah, Discovery yanked They're going to have no content. content. And uh, they have no choice but to make original content. And then will they be able to make enough money on their original content to stay relevant? Yeah. That's yet to be seen. But I, I you know, hey, yeah. it just took one pandemic to watch everything on Netflix. That's true. You know, that's and, true. And, and now you're like, okay, I've seen everything. I don't, don't have anything left. Well, I feel like that's everything on everything really. <laughs> yeah I mean, depending no, on who you no. are and how much but time i, I agree i think netflix has got some <laughs> challenges because they were the dominant force in the beginning but and now that sleepy. you have paramount paramount you have hbo oh, Max, no, everybody's have, everybody you know, has their own now yeah yeah for and, sure. they're, and they're crushing these other other platforms are crushing right now so yeah we'll so see what really happens you know up to them yeah to see but, what uh, they bring but yeah i do like netflix but you know who knows what the future is and we don't even know if youtube is going to be the future you know i mean tiktok is obviously crushing you know, you know yeah destroying the game on that sense will will content become more 30 seconds i think the problem with tiktok is that they have to somehow make it financially more viable for their creators. Yeah. Because right now, the only creators, the Charlie D'Amelio's of the world, are making tons and tons of money, but it's not from the TikTok app. It's from brand deals. Yeah. You know, and 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 um, and and that's a bummer because you know TikTok. That's what that's how Vine died, right? Is there was no money in it for the creators. You have to somehow make financially viability so that people are willing to go to the creation every single day. Yeah, jump platform. And, um, you know, and, and TikTok is not very good on monetization right now. Sweet. Uh, Tricia says, okay, it says, hi, Wanahu. Wanahu? Is, I guess that's Wanahu? Fam, family. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Finally at a live again after more surgery and other crap. Thank you oh, for making sorry. me smile most uh, days when I'm down and feel like I can't do any more. The vlogs and podcasts make me laugh. Well, Tracy, I, Trisha, I'm Trisha, sorry. yeah, Trisha, I'm sorry that you're going through such a hard time. Yeah, of course. You know, it's it's it sucks, and and you know, just I'm keep glad the you can get joy out of us in our yeah, lives, and, yeah, and in our and, content, and, and, <laughs> in our chaos, <laughs> yeah, in our chaos, and, and just keep positive, and and um, I hope that whatever you're dealing with goes away, and and there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel, you know, and that's all you can really do. Hell yeah, uh, Paige says, been watching you guys forever. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Paige. 
Cody says, is it okay to super chat and ask for a happy birthday for tomorrow? Absolutely. Well, if it isn't, I'm sorry, but I did. Cody, of course you can have a happy birthday for tomorrow. Yeah. But we will happy be birthday. on a podcast happy tomorrow, so we have to go happy early birthday. You. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, dear Cody. Happy birthday to you. There you go, Cody. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That was worth all the I hope it's a great day. I hope it's a great day for you, too. <laughs> Christina says, bring back Mary and her husband. Uh, well, got that's different, not that's our not choice. choice. <laughs> that's life, baby. Yeah, they got different jobs. So. Yeah, and it's not, it's not only not our choice, but uh, you know, I'm not one that, that really likes to bring back past stuff. Yeah. I think that you move forward. I, we're still yeah. good friends with, with them. Yeah. Uh, we think the world of them, um, but I think yeah. they're better off. It's just off, like we said, you know, people have to, you know, make the choices in their life and they decided to go a different direction with yeah. what they wanted to do in their careers. And, and we don't have no problem with that. Like, yeah, no. No, it's, it's good for and them. And it's, we hope they're the best doing for them. great. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's, it, yeah. I mean, you know, to us, we've moved forward. I think we're doing great, you know, yeah. and, the, and, and they the direction. are too. It's, yeah. So it's, it worked out good for both of us. It was an amicable thing all around. Yeah. Exactly. It worked out good for both parties. And, and you know, it, it doesn't make any, it wouldn't make much sense for them to come back. Wouldn't make us much sense for us to have them back. Uh, Kim says, we'd love to get a gargoyle or Deadpool gecko. Any chance? Question mark. Yeah, I mean, I think yes, there keep is a looking. chance. We did. I think we put some up in the last couple of weeks. Gargle, a Deadpool ones? Uh, there was some Deadpool line Ooh. ones. Get the heck out of yeah, here. That did go up. I don't know if they're still available. Check the wow. website. But keep an eye going because obviously, you know, oh, we're pro- we're starting to produce <laughs> stuff and then we only need so many. So, you know what I mean? Jessica is deciding what, what yeah, to and, hold and back and then yeah. what's for sale. Yeah, and now but, we've got uh, the New Caledonia room getting yeah. done. And uh, so, we're gonna we're, we're obviously gonna only have that much space. Keep an eye on the website, and you can always sign up for the wait list too. Yep. So that I think you get notifications when new things are put up. Yep. So BHB Reptiles. Yeah, Reptiles.com. And that's it for now for Super Chats, bye guys. Shop, <laughs> shop BHB Reptiles.com now. Now, uh, <laughs> which by the way, you can now go to. Can I say this? I don't. Uh, know. Why not? I can say it. You can say whatever you why want. Why don't you go to if you go to email join at reptilearmy.com oh shoot join you'll be you guys the, don't even know man. you guys will be the first people that can actually you do sure this that was the right thing yes you you guys are <laughs> you guys can do yeah it, it's what is that? It's, well it's not you, you just do on email yeah, right? yeah it's just email just email right now there's no website but if it. you go to join yeah em, or join at reptilearmy.com and be part of the army i want to be part of the army i'll be the general General, General J. General J. <laughs> That's good. I like it. All right. All there right. you go. All right. All right so sweet. we'll see who what goes on. We'll see so, uh, yeah. So you can join the army and um, not the actual army, but the reptile army. And uh, <laughs> yeah, now you're enlisted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Turns out, yeah. Tricked you. Tricked you. Now you're going over to Afghanistan. <laughs> Could you imagine if that was the ploy? <laughs> the government got us on contract here. Yeah, yeah. It turns out we just rounded up a bunch of you guys. Uh, but join no, the seriously, join the, the Reptile Army. You'll find out more about what that means here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but we're very excited about the project, oh, yeah. and we're starting to slowly... Been working out. for a so while. if you go yeah. join the reptilearmy.com, uh, you will be on the, the email mm. list, and you will get the first looks at what that actually is going to mean and uh like i said uh barring any calamities uh we're probably two two maximum three weeks away from launch of that project can't wait yeah it's um, gonna be fun. simple man says hope you all have a great night and are any blue-eyed leucistic ball pythons going to be on the site soon you know i don't know i think we do have some blue-eyed lucies and some pides available uh, av- available like they're not on the site but they need to get oh, up we got to get so that. so yeah i mean there's i know there's two full racks so there's about a hundred ball pythons that for some, and, and, and of the hundred, it's weird too. They're like pides, leucistics. Stuff that would and, fly, and, yeah, right? and bananas, you know, all stuff that would be really, really, I mean, they'd be sold by now for sure. Um, but somehow they didn't get on the site. And, and I talked to Ashley who, who updates the site and she was waiting on Lori to just give her prices uh, on all of the animals so that, that she could actually list them. So, really? so um, you know, simple man, just wait literally days. You, you'll you'll get them up on the site. Little Bogus says, for Lori's sanity fund, oh hope to visit the summer. Thank you. I hope you can visit too. I hope that this summer, I, you know, I really feel like 
and I hope I'm not wrong about this, you know, because I said this last summer, but I didn't have nearly the information we have now. It really does look like this summer, you know, we we may be almost back to normal, right? You know, if not completely normal, at least very, much closer. very closer. <laughs> Even here in Michigan, weirdly enough, who our governor has been unbelievably strict uh, through this whole thing. Uh, uh, I don't know if you guys heard this. This is crazy. Um, uh, she, you know, we we've been we're pretty open here, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. everything is open now limited capacity on some things, but most things are 50% capacity and life feels pretty normal. You know I mean? Really? I would say, you know, yeah, a 90 besides mass. That's the only thing. Yeah, And, and I think that we're going to, you know, and obviously we don't have concerts and we don't have mass things, but even our governor, and by the way, in the, in the, the, uh, the light of our numbers going up exponentially yeah. right now, we're in a spike right now, uh, uh, in Michigan. And she went from a thousand people at the Detroit Tigers game to 8,000 people. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, so she's allowing 8,000 people now to go to the Tigers game. So I, I kind of like the fact that even though things aren't great, we're still continuing to open As if like some people have foresight for the yeah, future, yeah, right? Yeah, it's almost like, they, you know, I don't think she would be doing that if she thought that, oh my gosh, we're going to go back into crisis mode. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, um, and, you know, because of all the governors, she seems to be super strict. So I, I have very high hopes that this summer... Uh, I've heard lots of concerts starting to yeah June eleventh. Um, um, Corey Taylor from Slipknot will be yep, in Michigan, yep, which exactly, is cool. which hopefully we can l link up with him. That'd be tight. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, I, I have high hopes. So hopefully, you can come visit us this summer. Silver Cash says, "What's the rarest reptile you've owned?" It's a great question. <sighs> yeah, I don't really know. Uh, I mean, you got to remember that maybe the rarest reptile I owned is now common. Uh, mm. because I had so many one of a kinds and animals that were worth hundreds of thousands or, or animals that turned into millions of dollars worth of revenue. Uh, but now our, our pet trade <sighs> animals, you know, uh, but certainly, you know, Ben and Jerry, you know, uh, chopsticks, obviously chicken strip of Usuku. Um, those are probably those, the top those three, are all, top those, four, right? Those are all even pepper, you know, I mean, you know, pepper, yeah, you know, might not one. be super i mean it's 12 in the world so i mean there's there's not many of those kind of rare <laughs> yeah uh, but there's a lot of those you know i mean but we you know obviously the first sunset ball python the first pinstripe ball python you know the list goes on and on you know animals that maybe you know pinstripes now are 100 bucks but you got to remember i mean they literally generated millions and millions and millions of dollars over the last 20 years over their rarity and you know stuff so too, yeah. so i mean you know they were they were some of the rarest animals on the planet back when we were producing them uh, Tiffany says, I want in on the baby frilly list and also curious, do you know, do you and Noah like seeing us in the comments commenting back to people being rude? Question mark. You know, Tiffany, I love, you know, Tiffany's great on, on the, on the comments, uh, on, on the vlog yeah, she's a crusher. and she, she'll, she'll attack people. I, you know, listen, I love it. I love the fact that people stick up for me. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't want to really do it. I kind of went off on a guy the other day. I, I don't know what happened. Like, and it was a bad one. Like I just, he caught me on a bad day. He's a fucking asshole. I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to kid, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but it was like an unbelievably rude comment about how it's, you know, I neglect every animal and that I can't killed Taz and that I, I don't deserve, you know, stuff like that. And I literally like attacked. I said, fuck you. You know, I, I said, you know where I live. Why don't you come here and I'll teach you some fucking manners. That was my response. Yo, and, yes, and, and, and Tiffany, Tiffany also attacked him. So and then, but then I blocked him, uh, which I never do. I never block people, but I was like, you know what? F this person because he was a, a repeat offender. You know I mean? He, every day he's on my, my thing posting negative shit, yeah. and Tiffany is like defending me every day on, with this guy like you know and, and finally i was just like you know what i'm blocking you i'm done so i don't even know if when i block him if that comment of me attacking him goes away i think it does i would assume um, so because that whole, not, all I, that I, the whole chain of him should be gone right 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 and so i've been doing you know i that was the first block i've made in probably six months uh, but there's been a few people now, i don't know if you know this jay there's been a few people i'm so sick of like there was this one guy that just you know, he always like, no, I'm doing this because I, I, I want to better you, Brian. But it's negative, 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 yeah, negative. Yeah, yeah. Every day it's something I'm doing wrong that he thinks I should be doing better. And like, so you come do I, it, bro. Yeah, so I finally <laughs> just hid him. 
So does that hide it from everybody? Like I said, hide from channel. Can can other people see his stuff now? Ooh, I actually don't know the answer to that question. Well, I, I, I would was, assume that no one could see his. I stuff. was I was hoping that like yeah, he could still watch, but he could no longer post. Yeah, is what I I'm, think I'm that hoping. would be what happens. You know, and but... it's kind of like there you go, there there you got it. You know, I <laughs> you're hope in you, time out. Yeah, there you go. Now you, now you got what you wanted. You jerk. <laughs> Cheyenne <laughs> says. Jerk. Cheyenne <laughs> says. Uh, Thank you guys for being my reason to smile today. Any plans to bring back the mobile reptile game? I was in the group of testers, and it definitely needed work, but I thought it was great. Well, thank you for being in the group of beta. Uh, I thought it needed a lot of work, too much work. That's why we canned it. <laughs> you know, it's because yeah. it was just... It won't be that one. I yeah, mean, it was not just, to say something in the future won't happen. I, I but, still love... I mean, yeah. I still have ReptileTycoon.com. I still have all the social for Reptile Tycoon. Uh, I think that um, it's got... It, it's got a, a lot of potential if it's done right, you know? Yeah, I but, agree. But, uh, and and the, listen, the guys that did Reptile Ty Tycoon were good guys. They just really didn't have the experience to do what we wanted to do. And they, they really went from, like, my vision to what they could achieve which was completely not my vision. Yeah. And, and, and I didn't want to have my name on something that I knew was really an inferior product. It's a um, hard one because like, we've talked yeah. about it before. I mean, you have to right off the rip that that game has to be the most awesome or no one's going to play it, you mm -hmm. know? And like you see games that do well yeah. are all like designed really well and foolproof. You yeah. Know? And this one was like, I, I mean, like, I didn't even want to play the game. Yeah. You know, and I mean? you like, should be I, excited I, about yeah. making it. Yeah. I was just like, this is so boring. I mean, I, it, you know, I'm not a gamer, so I'm not the demographic really for it. But, but you but played I, Animal I, Crossing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I played Animal Crossing, and I think that if we did something. So, yes, I would love to reboot that at some point. Um, but I don't know when and how, yeah. to be totally honest with you. I would love to partner up with, with a company and do it, but I don't know the company to partner up with. And, um, and I'm not in a position where I feel confident enough to spend a hundred to $150,000 to develop it because quite frankly, I know, and I've heard so many people that do spend that hundred, hundred and fifty thousand dollars and are still unhappy. Yeah. So I would rather partner up with a company that a really good company that does make games and them say, Hey, let's split the revenue. We'll, we'll do the, the, the development and we'll split revenue because the revenue can be unbelievably high on those games, those RPM games. Uh, so, so yeah. Sweet. Uh, Silver Cash asks if you and Lori could go anywhere in the world for one day, where would it be? Hmm. Lori, where's your place? It's gotta be Italy, right? Today. Today today um Greece? <laughs> mm. yeah it would be a hard it would be a hard toss because uh there's places i want to go that i haven't been but right. if i'm going to pick like a top thing like okay if i could 100 percent go somewhere today so i would maybe pick like venice venice huh yeah see i think i i liked venice a lot the, the thing I that probably I like jaded me. <laughs> yeah, I, see that. Yeah, I think the thing that jaded me a little bit on Venice, which is the it gondolas. was not. No, well, yeah, that. Well, it was, a, it was a weird thing, you know. I was surprised that I it, it was. I got kind of a little seasick you on the did. gondola. You were you were very nervous about. But that, I yeah. I was also not in a, a good anxious spot either. You know, my anxiety was just starting to kind of come on uh, when we were there, and and so it so was I let just my such. Mind get, it was such a, not only was it a cool place, like yeah. far away, but it's such a unique place. Yes, yeah, like, like nothing you know like it I mean? in the world. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like to to have that, like, you know, how crazy was that? Like the the Amazon, the mail came on freaking yeah. gondolas on boat, down yeah. the down boat, the, yeah. the canals. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and all that the is supplies, how, the right. garbage has to leave on a gondola. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's so, just so crazy. Yeah. But beautiful yeah. like it's such a neat thing. well what i was saying was going to say is not the gondolas that ruined it uh and that didn't ruin it but but jaded me a little bit it was cold it was really well, we were cold there in january I, know. <laughs> I think i would so this is the problem like i think i would love venice but in the summer the but, but it'd be packed exactly yeah. and that's yeah. the thing you have to find i think yeah. like that's Spring the thing fall. exactly you have to kind of search it and find yeah. like what's the happy medium with yeah, nicer love, weather yeah. but not crowded because right. yeah that's what the guy was saying was like you would literally be like sardines and i'm like yeah, yeah i that wouldn't would be like that yeah when we were there we were like we were in like the main square that he said is like you couldn't and there was literally nobody there oh wow and so it was 
was and a beautiful thing. And he said it thing. would just be like packed. Yeah, like you couldn't even move. Uh, so, so I mean, I, I, th- it was just the coldest place we went in, in, in Italy at the well, time. because, yeah, we were yeah. out in the water. Like, yeah, it was the coldest place. But it, even that was wasn't the, that bad, though. I mean, it, it was wasn't, cold. It wasn't as bad as Michigan. It was like 20 degrees. It wasn't that bad. It was, it was cold. But was uh, so I did love that. <laughs> I did love that. But I will say I loved Rome more. I really did. I it's loved Rome. It's not as Rome. cold as the, the, the ice hotel is going to be. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Lori wants to go to an ice hotel. Sounds How great. Yeah. How would you awesome. not want to experience that in your life? I would do it. I would want I to experience it. I'd be miserable, but I would do it. No, you yeah. wouldn't. Yeah. Oh, I I would enjoy it enough for the both of us. I, yeah. How cool would that be? Yeah, I would do it. I would go. I think Sleeping it would be. On, a, like, I think it'd be a good ice. experience. <laughs> and that's the part that I would hate. I would, but you got to have like sleeping bags and some other shit. See, like, I don't like how cold. Cool is I don't that? like cold. Like you've got your think, glasses like carved out of ice and your drink. It would be cool. I would love to go and I'd love to experience it. But I think I would be like. I can only imagine. Yeah. Listen, you need to enjoy that as much as you want me to enjoy going to Africa with you. I and I said I would exactly. go. Exactly. I said I would go. That's what I'm saying. I just know that I would be <laughs> miserable when uh, the cold would make me miserable. But but I wouldn't. I think the experience would be cool. I think it would be yeah. nice, and I would definitely go. But Rome I did. Off that I did shit. like. I did really. Yeah, exactly. I really did like Rome. I, I Rome is one of my it favorite was. places. That was very cool too. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think there were so many th- moments in Rome that were something I'll carry the whole my whole life. Yeah. Yeah, but I, awesome. I don't know. So yeah. uh, Bogus asked, "Do you know what vaccine you're getting?" The Pfizer one wasn't bad at all. Well, I'm getting Moderna. Uh, I, I think if I again, I don't know. I mean, Moderna and Pfizer are you know the the same mRNA vaccine. Um, I have heard that Pfizer does seem to have a little bit less side effects. Um, but then again, I, I think that that's subjective as well. You know, I mean, yeah, um, I think it, everybody's I think, yeah, different. Everyone's a little bit different. Every probably mix of it is different too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if there's different mixes, but I think that, I think that, you know, everyone reacts a little bit differently. I've heard overwhelmingly, even from some some people that that I've I've communicated that are nurses that give vaccines uh, that that say that most people, in particular males, have zero side effects the first shot. Wow! You know they say like probably eighty five percent of males have no side effects. Well, there you go. Hold on uh, to that, and you should be and, fine. Uh, <laughs> but but then they do say that the second shot most. Everyone has some side effects. It can be as little as just being really tired. It could be a, a headache, or it could be you're really sick for for a day. But it, to a, I mean, very rare for anyone to be like Bill next door got Moderna, and uh, and he had his second shot just last week, yeah. like four or five days ago. And he said the day after he had could he couldn't get out of bed because his headache was so bad and he felt so so terrible. But the following day he was fine. Well, and that's the thing, right? To get to get fully vaccinated and have whatever it, it's worth it right i think it is and that's it's funny because aaron uh our trainer uh that's what he said he said because i told him i said i'm super happy i'm getting vaccinated but i am pretty nervous about it and he said you can't be nervous about both getting the virus <laughs> and the vaccine. he said you can only choose one i agree he, I said, agree. If you, he said if you're worried about getting the virus then you can't be worried about getting the vaccine so st- shut up you know Love and that. i said i said i get it you know and uh and, and then you know so so what he said so what are you choosing well i'm true i'm definitely choosing the virus so you know being nervous about the virus okay. more than the vaccine and what he said is that you know instead of saying i'm being nervous about getting the virus say i'm excited about getting the virus Vaccine. I mean the vaccine. I mean the vaccine. No, <laughs> I'm super excited I'm so about excited getting coronavirus. To get COVID. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we go, baby. Bring no. it on. <laughs> so that's what he said. He said I should from now on say I am so excited to get the vaccine. And the truth is, I am very excited to get <laughs> the vaccine. Please say that. Yeah. Even no matter what you're feeling, yeah. just say that. Please. I'm so excited. But I really am <laughs> excited about I'm getting so it. So excited. Yeah. Uh, I'm just kidding. But I'm also nervous. You know, I mean, I'm nervous just because you don't know what you're gonna feel like. You know. But it's way. M- more likely that you won't feel as bad as if you got the virus. Oh, hundred percent. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So. so that's where and, I would and, look at. And when when it is over six weeks from now, when when you know I get my second shot, and yeah. I'm fully vaccinated after ten or twelve days, inoculated, or whatever it yeah. is, inoculated after ten or twelve days after the vaccine. At that point, you're gonna feel like Superman. You're yeah. Like I'm good. I, you, you know, it's like I told. People. It's like I told him. You know. Aaron, when I was training today, it's like, you know, you're like touching the barbell and you're this, and, and in my mind, I've got this little thing like, oh, I got to wash my hands, mm-hmm. you know, other people have been touching this stuff. Just be nice and not have to worry about that. 
That's not to say I'm not going to still wash my hands because it's hygienically good, but I'm not going to be thinking, oh, I've got to wash my hands or I'm going to catch the everything. virus, you yeah. know, and, and that's going to feel really freeing, you know. And, and, and it's yeah. like, I know, Laura, Laura, you're not, you don't want, and, and Aaron asked me if you want, we're going to get the virus. And I said, right now, Laura's the not virus. going, <laughs> the, the vaccine, I'm sorry, <laughs> I keep messing this up. Um, and, and I said, I think you will get the vaccine because I think that even though you're not worried about getting the virus and you're not worried about the effects of the virus and all that other stuff, I think that the benefits of getting the vaccine will outweigh you not getting the vaccine. And what I mean by that is that travel is going to be easier. Going to concerts is going to be easier. Uh, all the things in life and not wearing a mask at some point because that is going to, that is the next step, right? The next step. And this is the one thing like, I think that, you know, I, I've made mention with Rand Paul when after Dr. Fossey, you know, and, and it's always a battle between those two. And a lot of times I, don't necessarily agree with Rand Paul. So a lot of times I don't agree with Dr. Fossey. But the one thing he did say is he said, if I'm fully inoculated, why am I wearing a mask? If I can't get the virus and I can't spread the virus, or very, I shouldn't say I can't get it, but very unlikely that I get the virus, and very unlikely now it's being proven that it's very unlikely you can spread the virus, why am I wearing a mask? And I think that that will be the next step in June, July, whenever it is, they're going to say, if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask anymore. You know, they've, CDC's already came out and said, if you have, if you, me, if me and you were in two different families and we we're both inoculated, we could get together without a mask. So, you know, the next step. So my point is, is, I think that down the road when you're ready and I will never push you, I think you're going to see the benefits of vaccination and you're going to say, I'm going to get vaccinated because I don't have to wear a mask. I can get on a plane. I can go to Disney. I can go to a movie. I can go to a concert and I don't have to wear a mask. And I, all I have to do is show my vaccine card. And what I mean, you know, and this is what I told Noah, because Noah asked me yesterday, he said, well, why should I get vaccinated? I'm 21. And, and I'm, even if I got sick, I'm not going to get bad. And I said, but you're not just doing it for you. You're doing it for the future of this country. Right. And you're doing it because every person that gets vaccinated is one step closer for us going back to normal. Dude, my dog can't even go to canine club without being fully vaccinated. Right. My well, dog. Right. And I cool. talked to Scott Smith like, today and Scott Smith, I, I told him about that. I said, listen, you, you know, there's going to be, you're not going to be able to go to a concert. You're not going to be able to go to a sporting event. You're not going to be able to get on a plane eventually without getting the vaccine. And he said, well, that's, that's bull crap. That's against our concert. I said, dude, You've been vaccinated from smallpox. Yeah. You've been vaccinated from polio. polio. You've been vaccinated for you know, all these things. You already have been vaccinated. Just We're not putting more. a chip yeah. in you. We're putting a vaccine that you have already gotten a, 15 different vaccines before you can go to school. Yep. So it's it's a dumb argument that, oh, I'm not going to do that because it's against my rights. Listen, to go to school, you've got to get vaccinated, right? Our kids have to get vaccinated to, to go, go to, to school. school. So again, I'm just saying, Lori, I'm not trying to influence you anyway i think you will at some point but say, all the cool it's kids are worth it. it that's all we're saying yeah it's worth it for the better of men of the world <laughs> scott says just wanted to say hey and help the otter fund sorry Lori. lol hope you have a great night ah uh, thank you i love the otter fund <laughs> kim says coming in from upstate new york on sunday to tour with you oh my gosh can't wait to meet you save a deadpool lol oh my gosh i hate to say it kim but i'm not going to be here sunday yeah we're just scooting out for no a i'm bit. just kidding I'll be here. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see us kim that'll be great we'll have a great time i hope that you're cool because if you're not cool i'm kicking you out <laughs> <laughs> heidi oh, says heidi's here uh popping in for a quick hello love you guys hope to see you soon yeah heidi said that uh she wasn't going to be able because she was working tonight she wasn't going to be able so she, i guess she just popped in for a quick quick howdy howdy do a quick howdy a howdy a quick howdy do yeah there you go uh alicia says my family love i'm guessing loves the vlog and podcast and thanks to the vlog we found bhb and we are up three snakes and we love uh, them keep up the great work guys well thank you so much to you and your family that means the world to me it really does uh scottish rob says yeah just picked up a 30 ban defending you on kevin's reptile keepers against prejudice page annoying <laughs> but definitely worth it Oh gosh, I tell you, that's okay. it, baby. Uh, Whatever that means. All no, right, he picked up a thirty-day yeah, suspension. He's got a thirty-day ban because he defended me on Kevin's reptile keepers against prejudice page, which which is it just it, it's baffling to me. I mean, you know, like Kevin's page is supposed to be like, you know, Kevin's 
my friend Kevin defends me constantly, but then you know they they're gonna attack me. And and what are they attacking me for? Yeah. Things that I didn't even do. Things that I don't even. You know, they're gonna attack me because my title was bad for the hobby. Yeah. Or my my thumbnail was bad for like fuck off. You know. I mean, I hate to be so rude, but it's seriously like you know I I you know I I someone said something like. This, this title and thumbnail isn't helping the reptile hobby. I said, I promise you, not one law is going to be passed on a title or thumbnail of a YouTube channel. You know, Now, if I'm doing something on the YouTube channel that is bad for the hobby, totally different, right? If my actions on the YouTube channel are negative, right, then, right. then I, 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 can, I, I think I deserve to get you know, ridiculed. Off, yeah. But, but you know, I'm just sick of it. And, I, I, and that, that's why, I mean, Kevin said it to me himself when I talked to him last time. He said... There's no reason for you to even care about the reptile hobby because the reptile hobby has treated you so fucking bad. He said, if I were you, I would literally not even care about the hobby. I would do nothing to help them. And, and, but here I am still trying to help the hobby. But he's right. You know what I mean? Like at some point you go like, come on, guys, you know? You know what I mean? It's, no, just, I it's ridiculous. It's, it, it is legitimately ridiculous, you know? But uh, thank you for defending me. Yeah, Jose says, hi, guys, and Lori. Thank How you guys you. doing? Good. Uh, Heidi says, please keep my friend Stephanie in your thoughts and prayers. She had an OP today, an op oh, operation, I'm guessing, oh, okay. right? Well, I definitely will, Heidi. Definitely, definitely appreciate it. Uh, Silver Cash says, Jay, this one's for you. If you could go anywhere in the world for one day, mm, where would you go? There you go. Um, Patagonia, Chile. Patagonia, wow. Yeah, I've been wanting to go there for a long what time. What makes you choose that? It's really pretty. You want to see? I'll show you. Yeah, pa Patagonia, <laughs> Patagonia is really it's good. It's real pretty. That's literally my my. All, I just love mountains, waterfalls. No, it's, Patagonia is gorgeous. Okay. Uh, it, it so really it's is. It's got everything you love. Yeah, yeah, jacket. and they got tegus too. So it's got a really cool jacket. Yeah, look at that. Look how gorgeous that place you know is, man. You know what I'm talking mm. about. Right. No, you know I wouldn't really shut good. the fuck up there. Look at those mountains, no, Lori. You would not shut the fuck mm. up. Oh Look at those. Sure. Oh my God. Did you see you the go clouds? There with Maria. Oh, she's gonna have a fit. <laughs> you know I will. I will not go there. She with won't you. she will fucking lose her mind. Oh, that's a good one. Uh Jerrica Potterhead comes back and says, I told Morton to go hang out on someone else's balls. Tiffany and I will always have your back. We go ham on any haters, but Tiff is nicer than me. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate. It. Like I said, it, it's nice, you know, to have people defend. It's I that mean, reptile army, I, baby. Yeah, it's the reptile army, man. You know, does it? Does do I need it? No, uh, but I appreciate it. And and you know, just don't waste your time. Is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to defend, I appreciate your defending. But at some point, if you feel like you're wasting time, just walk away from it. Realize you that you do have to realize that people are doing this for attention and for right, sports. Yeah. That's, that's, like they do exactly. it for sport. Exactly. That's but, but it's nice to have people defend a little yeah. bit but that being said do understand that i don't care you know what i mean like these people don't like affect do they make me mad sometimes like that's bs but most of the time i literally just don't care i yeah. literally am like okay i'd rather just not have you in my life you're never going to help me and 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 you know again what have i said right a bee doesn't explain to a fly that honey tastes better than shit I love that. And, and that's all you are you're just a shit eater you know, Ooh. that's, that's all, you know, seriously. Ooh, you know. bitch. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Shit eater. <laughs> shit, shit. That's what I call Phoebe, shit eater. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's the worst. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Silver Cash says, awesome podcast tonight. I got to work this weekend. I will try to swing by and watch after work. I definitely miss Saturdays, but got to make them pizzas. Love y'all. I tell you, man. I, I, one day I want to eat one of your pizzas, Silver Cash. I <laughs> yeah. really do, man. Make sure yeah, you bring it with. I wonder if they're Bring good. it with, yeah. Rat toppings and all, you know. Uh, B uh, Peggy says, every dang group on YouTube uses clickbait thumbnails. Every pimple popping F them. Or no, even pimple no, popping. Yeah, no, you're 100% right. That is, again, we talk about it all the time, is that that is media. That's And it's not just YouTube. It's movies. It's, news. It's the news. news. It's, it's right. everything. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, unfortunately, yeah. we live in a world yeah. that clickbait is the only way that you can yep. survive on those platforms. And, and, and again, you know, I if you want to be... Uh, you know, if you want to be a a, a a person with a message that no one listens to, then you could do whatever. And I realize there's some people that literally will unfollow me and say, I would rather watch you if you didn't clickbait. But most people are the other way. Yeah, and you know, that's what people, people don't understand is it's just as much our fault as a civilization right. that we've made this happen because yeah. we don't look at nice yeah. things. We like to look at fucked yeah. up horrible I mean, shit. Why does the YouTube algorithm favor that type of stuff? If the YouTube algorithm favored pleasant, beautiful, peaceful titles, I would be happy to produce 
pleasant, peaceful titles and yeah. thumbnails. But that's not what but happens. We as humans yeah. have bad tendencies. Right. So and, and until we stop doing that as a and that's no different than reality TV, right? Mm-hmm. Real there was no such thing as reality TV twenty years ago. Right. But now reality TV is all you get. You know, there is no non reality look at the animal world, you know. I mean, you know, back in the day, the only thing you got in the animal world was blue chip docs. Docs. Yeah. You know, David Attenborough S type of docs. Now they won't even think about it. Even, you know, the Animal Planet took a swing on Brave Wilderness and and, and took a beating on it because it, yep. it, it was such a failure. And, and and that's because our world would rather see people have drama and, and, and sensationalism and overproduction because that's the way we consume our media. Yep. So true. And then uh, Brennan says, hello, Barcheck fam and Jay. Just wanted to send some love for that Otter Fund. Also wanted to thank you for the albino cow king. He's an absolute ripper. Ah, oh, I love it. Love, love that, it. Love, love it, it Brody. Ripper. That's cool. No, I appreciate you very much, and I appreciate the Otter Fund. We're going to need lots of uh, Otter lots fun. of Otter Fund stuff. Atrium Fund. <laughs> Atrium Fund. Yeah, the, yeah, the, uh, the, the Reptarium Aquarium. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, more, more news on that in the future, but it's been, uh, yeah, it's going to be wild, so... Uh, that's it, huh? That's it, bud. Well, listen, guys, I appreciate you joining in. Normally, Noah would take us out of here, but I'm going to take you out of here tonight. Thank you guys for everything that you do for me and our family. Uh, thank you, Lori, for uh, being a part of the Checking In podcast. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I love you guys. You can check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all the places you, if you want to listen to. Uh, I will be back on Saturday night. Noah will be back on Friday night. We'll hear about his stand-up comedy and all that other stuff. And uh, until then, uh, you have been, what is it? Checked, checked in. in. And we you've been che- you, yeah, are you've checking been checked out. in and we're checking out. See you guys. <laughs>